badge. Can't wait for Endwalker so I don't get blasted every time I launch the game. Uh, for 80, any dieable headpiece, any gray die, and a best man's jacket. Wow. Any gray die. Do I have any gray die on me? Snow white, soot black. Surely I've got some in my chocobo bag. Ash gray. Uh, remove. She's got abs. Oh, yeah, dude. That's really triggering me that XP bar at the top. The Forgotten Knight. Hey, Brian, did you know the voice actor for Count Dripula passed away? I did know that, unfortunately. This guy's name is weird. If you say it funny, it sounds like... Firmalbert! Firmalbert! Firm Albert. <laughs> Firm Albert. Mm -hmm. Um. What are Centurio seals? Or just Dolman gear or artifact gear? Dolman gear. Oh. Different hunts. You can get most dies from NPC vendors in big cities. Nice. The firm Albert's always at the gym when he isn't on guard duty. Good man. Do I have to walk to the Golden Saucer for Muldot? Yes, sir, you do. Yes, sir, you do. Yeah, jet black dyes are like 300k a pop. They're so fucking expensive. Do you have a favorite song so far? Uh, Gerudo's was pretty sick, dude. I still like uh, the Gerudo theme. Still probably one of my favorites. Ravana's good too. Do you want jet black dye? Sure. Nice. Shiva song's good. A lot of the a lot of the
Almost. One more, um, one more week and I'll be able to get the car and the other stuff. I need Terebin. Wait, why weak you can get the car 20k today easy? Because you only listened to half of what I said. I don't know, like... Um... Let's see. What am I here for again? Oh yeah. Um... Dive vendors? Where's a dive vendor? Hello, Taro. The very end. Hello. Yo, Taro Summers, thanks for gifting five subs to the channel. Welcome. That's a way to say hello. <laughs> and Bunny Smasher, thanks for subbing with the Prime. Um, I did get a spoiler about Tia Graha. That guy, I've got more spoilers about Tia Graha than fucking anybody else, dude. It's crazy. <sighs> There's a lot of cosplay stuff for Tia Graha, apparently. Or Graha Tia. I think it's maybe I'm saying it backwards. Graha Tia. Is it Tia Graha or is it Graha Tia? I don't remember. Graha, Graha Tia? Tia, no, Tia Graha. I don't remember, dude. Who gives a fuck? Graha Tia. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. Like, you know, you're going through there and it's like, oh, Tia Graha's blank staff. And you're like, damn it. So he becomes a blank, and I didn't want to know that so early, you know? That kind of sucks. But but that's cool, though. I mean, that's exciting. But now I know. You might forget about it. True. At least I don't know how they happen, exactly. Okay, um... So last stream, we ended by trying to do some extreme Ifrit. Uh, we got to like 40% on the best pull. So I think we're going to go ahead and leave that one alone for now. I think we're going to go ahead and come back to that guy. Uh, Shiva probably as well. And I also have extreme Ramu that I can do. Um, so back to the main quest line. That would be Ethereal Trail. And that would take me to Uriange at the uh, Sildi excavation site in Northern Thailand, Central Thailand. Sorry. Uh, we'll go to the Western Thailand gate. Ifrit X is hard. Yeah, it seemed hard, man. It was tough. It was a tough one. I think we had, you know, we had a group going on that... Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Oh, I went to Western Thanalan. Oh, I guess that's close enough. That's kind of where I wanted to go. Kind of. 
Probably would have been faster to go to the other place and just fly, but whatever. Ramu is the hardest, you think? I could see that. There's a couple tough ones, man. Uh. Yeah. Let's go over here. Ooh, an old civilization. So, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm remembering correctly, we are trying to come up with a means and uh, to put, like, an etheric battering ram on the front of Sid's ship so that we can blast our way through the lightning barrier that's surrounding Azus Law. So, I believe that's where what we're doing. If our friends weren't in the tunnel, that must mean they're somewhere else. And actually, right now, no, we're looking for Yishtola... And the others. That's what we're doing right this moment. Simply being here calls to mind the events on the, of that fateful day. Yeah, it sucked, Alpha. No, I know. Evidence of Ishtola's passage would have been made faint by time, but mayhap some new scant traces yet remain to guide your guide our steps. Perhaps Orange. Perhaps. Show me what you see. Whoa. Bravo 6, going dark. <laughs> Titan EX was good. Is she up there? The trail leadeth to the north and the east, unto the bosom of the Twelve's Wood. Are you certain? Aye, there is no mistake. Thither that Yishtola journeyed. And yet the, the Gridanians have reported no sightings. We must take this to mean she's still adrift. If it be so, I do fear for our friend. Contrary to its name, the life stream is more akin to a raging torrent. Linger over long in the midst of this maelstrom, and the ether that formeth one's soul shall, sh shall surely be scattered, ne'er to be reformed. Okay, that's scary. We have no time to waste. Urianje, pray report to all possible locations for reversing the effects of this forbidden magic. Pyro, Tartaru, we three shall start to, uh, shall press on to Gridania and petition the Elder Seedseer's aid. Uh huh. Mancer. Oh, it's you. I see some people got you hooked up with the drip. Oh! Ooh, is this Pugilist? Level 29 Puge? PGL? It's freaking Puge. It's fucking... It's Puge. No, I got this drip myself. Nice. Nice. Huge. We're doing... You can't trade. No, you, oh, true, you can. You're too much of a fucking... You're a noob. You're not paying for this game yet. Just kidding. That's a joke. You're not a noob for that. You're very lucky that you're able to play this much game without paying even a dime. Chad, uh... Chad got his new computer today. Ooh, it was nice. It's exciting for him, dude. Chad's got the exact same computer, headset, monitor. He's got the exact same everything that I do, except I have a Ryzen processor and he has an Intel. 
It blows my mind how free this game is. It actually is insane, isn't it? The, mar the makings of a gunbreaker? Wait, why does that start here? Cool. It is said that the elements perceive the life stream. If, as we suspect, Yishtola is still adrift in the midst, in its midst, they may be able to find her. But if we are to appeal to them for assistance, we must needs do so through their chosen, the Pajol. It is imperative, therefore, that we speak to Kanisana without delay. Kanisana. Jam yam, jam yam. Hey, thanks uh, guys so much for all the support. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for coming and hanging out. I'm really, really appreciative of it. It really does mean a lot to me. And at 6,000 subs, we are going to do a, uh, maybe a little transmog competition. Oh, am I? Oh. Be welcome, my friends, and speak freely. I gather your suit will admit no delay. Admit to no delay. It will not, my lady. Pray forgive the abrupt nature of our, of our request, but it is a matter of life and death. I'm on crystal. Basically, as a slaw, dragons, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god. Sounds terrible. Thank you for giving me a chance to be here. Oh, stop. I see. As you say, we must needs act swiftly if we are to free Ishtola from the ungentle pull of the life stream. And as, if, and as you have surmised... We cannot do this unaided. However... In requesting the Elemental's assistance to find your Stola, you must needs be aware of one difficulty. A difficulty born of the fundamental difference between man and elemental. That being... In perceiving the world around him, man relies upon senses such as sight and sound. For the sake of convenience, he gives names to such things as are near or dear to him. Being formed of pure ether, however, such concepts are foreign to the elementals. Instead, they perceive by observing the ebb and flow of the energies of life.
Interesting. So profound a division cannot be bridged with simple discourse. The elementals voices stir not the air and thus reach not our ears while our words are but wind to them. Though we seers can commune with them through feelings, naught that we can impart will serve to aid them in identifying Yishtola. Nay, they must needs be presented with ether which is akin to hers. If you could but find a family member. All right. Oh, I know just the person. Yustola has a sister who came to live in Gradania. She told me about her once. Okay. Oh, that is most fortunate indeed. Pray, seek this sister out then and bring her to Evershade. There. We shall petition the Great One's aid in finding your lost companion. Cool. Pray. Pyram, pray. We have an emote for that. <laughs> Paterel! If memory serves, Yashola's sister is named, uh, Yamitra. Oh, you know her, do you? Well then, that ought to make things easier. Anyway, she spends most of her time around uh, Apkalu Falls, from what I recall. Let's look for her there. Uh, the first class that I ever, the first job that I ever played was summoner. Yeah, I know, I know this lady. To the amphitheater. I did job change to BLM. Yep. I love how your streams have so many people, but still don't feel impossible to talk in. It's nice, huh? Let's see. Nice. New barding. The fuck is that thing? Hmm. 
Almost looks uh, like Alligan Garlan, kind of like, you know? Almost like Ultima Weapon. It's a city that stands up and you have to fight it! Here we go. What's fuck around? It's a big spider? Mm -hmm. Greetings, Pyro. What brings you here today? I see that you have companions. Hello. Lady Amitra, it is an honor to meet you. My name is Alfino Leveur, and this is uh, Tataru Taru. Tataru Taru. So, you are my sister's comrades in the signs of the Seventh Dawn. Yeah, what's up? When I heard that your people were being, were being pursued, I desperately sought to reach, to reach Stola, but all mine efforts were to no avail. Now I know why. The forbidden spell of all things. That she should be so reckless. But what's done is done. I thank you for bringing word to me. Needless to say, I should be glad to help. Though we were born of different mothers, our veins course with the same father's blood. I hope that this will be enough for the elementals. Come, let us make forever shade at once. So, two different mamas. Well, you obviously had the better genes. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Let us begin. Raya O, Arun, if you would. Arun? Arun? Okay, dude. That kid's bangs, I know. He hits dingers. He looks like, uh, what's the, what's her name from Avatar? Hearken to me, O oh great ones. Ping or pray, what the fuck's give her name? yourselves to the life stream, a drifting talk, talk, soul talk, talk, to talk, find. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she looks like. Pray, give yourselves to the life stream, a drifting soul to find. All right, elemental stuff. Let's go. Connie Senna, let's see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ping. <laughs> is Ping the name? Isn't is Ping the name that uh? <laughs> please, you stole her. Please come back to us. I don't remember. Come on. Pang or isn't that from like uh, Mulan? Isn't that her fake name? <laughs> There. I feel like I've seen this sequence of events happen before, but it was somebody else. I feel like I've seen literally the same thing. What 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 was? I think I've I feel like I've seen someone literally. Who was that? It's not the first time. There. No, 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 no. Maybe it's from, like, a movie. <sighs> anyway. I know what you're talking about. They're, like, scrying. They're, like, scrying through something, and they're, like... I don't know, who cares? I feel like I've seen. I don't think you have, lol, not in this game at least. Okay. Maybe it wasn't from this game. Now! What's that from? I 
feel like it's from a movie that I watched. Whoa! Oh my. Can we get some fan, can we get some pyramgasms in the chat? Oh my God! Wow, I just saw you stole a comeback to fucking life right in front of me from the live stream. That's incredible. That's an Oda Block flashbang right there. There's, there's one along. I'm, I'm flashing. Burrito. Ah, oh, burrito. You guys are so stupid. I'm like sitting there. I'm like, who the fuck is burrito? A room has been readied at the roost. I'm, I'm like, pray, bear her thither at once. Who is that? Who? P -p who? <laughs> and then I'm like, oh. No, guys, she's not a burrito. She's a point. Okay? Fig fucking figure it out, dude. No, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> that doesn't, the, the wordplay doesn't work the same. Because the purring, because she's a cat, get it? Like, burrito, burrito's a joke because she's a cat and she's wrapped up like a burrito. So it's like purr, like, purr, like burrito, you get it? So if you try to make it into like, a, try to make point like joint, it doesn't work as well. But I figured you guys probably didn't get the joke, so I wanted to explain it to you. Sorry, to dis I just wanted to make sure you guys knew. <clears throat> thanks, Pyro. Very cool. Hadn't gotten it. <clears throat> Yo, Oswin, thanks so much for the uh, thanks for the tier one and welcome. We got it. That wasn't why we didn't laugh. All that remains is to pray, my friends. Did they, um... Did they tell me what spell she used to get into the live stream? Flow? Let me ask you this. Is flow exclusive access to specifically the live stream? Who knows? Did they tell me what civilization um, that came from? They don't mention its origin?
Okay. Hold on. You've heard all that before? Flo I know. Uh, flow is the basis for teleportation magic. It's the most ancient one. It disassembles you and reassembles you into and from the live stream. Charlene's have banned its use because it was dangerous. It disassembles you at an etheric level, right? Like it literally breaks down your ether, puts you into the flow, and then you come out on the other side reconstructed. Wow. That would suck to get lost in the life sh in, in the life stream, or if you, if something, uh, I think I. I might have these, but if I don't, I will I will give them back to you. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. I did not have the Garuda, but I did have the Ravana. Thank you very much for the for the Garuda. Thank you. Okay. Interesting. Let us pray that Yishtola awakens. Yishtola. Oh, Just seeing her face again, it's... Oh, I've been so worried. We definitely need a crying Tataru, Tataru emote, dude. Tatara needs you to fetch a few items for a crafting endeavor. Uh, of course. Yishtola is resting within an inn room. Though she's still unconscious, the signs are positive. The conjurers say she is in sound health and should awaken before long. Isn't that wonderful? Now, while we wait for Yishtola to wake up, I thought I'd take the opportunity to finish my little surprise for her. It's something I've been working on for a while now, in the hope that she'd one day return to us. It wants for just a couple more items before it's ready. I've already placed orders for these items. Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? One is with the Leather Workers Guild, and another is with the Conjurers Guild. Speak with Mistress Jiva and Brother uh, Isumian. Isumian, and they will uh, ought to take care of you. You know that'd be cr that'd be. You know what I think would be a cool little twist. And like I like if they do this, cool. If they don't, then whatever. I'm the story in this game's fucking awesome either way. Yo, uh, Robo Robo, thanks for the tier one sub. Welcome to the Garden Sprout and Dude Story with a Prime Gaming. Welcome as well. Woo, so happy you're enjoying the game, Pyro. Uh, happy to support you. Thank you very much, Cop uh, Cop uh, Copacetic. Thank you very much. Thank you. And congrats on the three months sub badge. That's a good one. Hell yeah. ZZ, thanks for the two months. You get a new sub badge as well. Congratulations. Thanks guys so much for these subs. At 6,000 subs, we'll do a transmog competition. You have to be on Crystal, which sucks, but you know. You know. Drip Coffee, thanks for the prime. Welcome to the Garden Sprout. Preach is what you call a classic sundere. Sundere. I, s I actually went to preach his stream last night. It was like, it was kind of late and I went into his stream and I was like typing in all caps and I was like, uh, oh yeah, because he was playing a black mage. I was like, black mage, my motherfucking man. And I typed to him in all caps and I was like, let's go, baby. Like BLMs unite, right? And then I said a couple more things in chat and then I left. Because I don't want to get spoiled. Well, I wasn't going to get spoiled. It was, it was, he's brand new to the game. So it's, you know. Yo, uh, Christian Knox, thank you. Or Cri Christian? Or Christian. Christian, I, I would assume. Thank you very much for subbing with your Prime, as well as CLG uh, Persepha. Thank you both. Thank you. Uh, put in some YouTube videos about Final Fantasy and you'll hit 100k within a few months. Oh, I know. I could do it in a month. I could get to 100k in a month. I just... I don't really know if I enjoy making YouTube videos that much anymore. Preach hates Thancred and Raban. Well, he, he hates Raban for now. I don't think it's possible to hate Raban forever. You know, I think, I think honestly, 
I think, honestly, Raban is probably... Like... He started to... He started to, like, uh... Uh... Rub on me, you know? Or rub off on me? Rub off on... Rub off on. Rub, rub on... He rub, he rub... He rub on me. Ha <laughs> ha Sorry about that. He was a great voice actor. He was. Oh. Um. I was going to say that it would be... Oh. Checking my voicemail. What? Listen, I love you. 
Listen, I love you because you're my brother, but if you ever make another pun like that again, I know where you live, all right? That's what he said. Man, fuck you! Pussy! Yo, the shenanigan. Shenanigan. Sean Anigan. Nice. Trying to get up a planigans. Why are you looking and staring at the mannequins? When I'm in a Porsche with the Harrison Ford and I'm in the Porsche with the four doors. <laughs> You're using way too many napkins. Back is a jacket. I'm using using chapstick and napkins. Flipping around like a babkin. <laughs> Hold on, I need to go to the leather workers guild. Flipping and jamming and giving. <laughs> Back to the Conjurer's Guild. I was gonna say, if the live stream, it'd be an interesting effect if it wiped your memory or cr something crazy. Like, made you forget shit. Or, you know. Has some kind of adverse effect on you. Whoa. 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 Ooh. That'd be neat. Oh no, the ley lines. You are come to Steel Glade Fane, the home of the Conjurer's Guild. How may I assist you? Ah, yes, Mistress Tartar is over. As requested, it has been sanctified in the sight of the elementals. I know not what she intends for the staff, but it is the most singular artifact. Even one possessed of my experience would struggle to wield it. <clears throat> okay. It turns women into fruit. They say if you enter the live stream, you come out sexy. Damn. My character must have been born in the live stream. Maybe they all were born in the live stream. Maybe everybody comes from the live stream. I mean, it's called the live stream for Christ's sake. And the elemental beings of pure ether can, uh, can track it. Crazy. They can, like, see the intangible. Nice. Well, if it isn't Pyro, looking for some hides to tan, mayhap? Hmm? Here to retrieve an order for Mistress Tatara, you say? You come at a good time. I finished it but moments ago. It was no small coup working on it to her specifications, but I did it nonetheless. Payment has already been settled. However, did that girl come by Chimerical Hide anyway? Or however did that girl come by Chimerical Hide anyway? <laughs> you need either balls of steel or a bottomless coin purse. And it seemed to me she had neither. <laughs> Didn't I get her Chimerical Hide or is that, am I tripping? <laughs> Hello. Hello, little one. So far down there. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Tony Carleone. Tony Corleone. Tataru runs a free company. You can get that stuff from airship submarines. Fair. She's well connected. She is well connected. She talks to everybody. She's the she's the social uh She's really the social expert in the group. I mean, I, does that even surprise me? Am I even surprised that those devilish little shits she would of course be the one good at conversing and gathering information and that makes, I mean, I really like how the characters in this game are very strongly influenced by their, uh, Tatar is the sec secretary. I like how they're really heavily influenced by their 
their surroundings. The, the people of, of the lands in this game really feel like they're from there. The people you talk to in Gridania are different than in Ulda. Even just, you know, obvious, I mean, I guess that's obvious, but it, it just feels, um, it feels very real in this game. Because it sure as fuck is, <coughs> sure as fuck is in Arena Shea. Wrote small. Ballsy. Wrote more. Write more. Um, I'll write more when I when I goddamn well feel like writing more. What do you think about that? Which is going to be soon. But thanks for the Prime for four months. Thank you. And thanks for all the uh, follows, guys. All right, here we go. Oh, you're back. You have the items, I hope. Of course. Of course, of course. Oh, it it's, as, it's precisely as I requested. A perfect match for the other pieces. Truly, Jeeva's a master among masters. Great. And the staff completes the surprise. Thank you so much. Teehee. I can't wait to see what Yashtola thinks of the surprise. Lest you wonder, she's doing very well, and the conjurers have left her in her sister's care. Let's go and pay them a visit, shall we? Sure. Just kidding. There she is. You stole her! I'm so glad you're back! Tataru. <laughs> Aw. Don't cry. Don't cry. Were her eyes white? You are safe. I guess. Thank the twelve. I guess maybe I just can't remember. I thought she had like blue eyes or green eyes or something. Oh, the live stream did have an effect. Dude, what if she sees in? What if she can see in ether now, like the elementals? <gasps> That'd be cool. Maybe she's blind. Maybe she can't see at all. Were they blue before or were they green? They were green, weren't they? It was um, it was green. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Green? I thought so. Maybe being exposed to pure ether blind blinded her. Let's see. Is she blind? No, oh, she's looking around like Something she can see. Has changed about you, Alpha, no. Or oh. perhaps the change is with me. I seem to sense the ether around me more keenly than before. I like her new VA, by the way. Okay. I seem to sense the ether around me more keenly than before. I am pleased to see you well again. Do you feel strong enough to talk? Is no one gonna tell her? Worry <laughs> not. I am well enough. Oh, yeah, they were that color. I guess... She must be able... She's not blind. Well, look at the mirror back there. That's tell fucking us, weird. Tell us, then. What befell you after you fled the feast? We were told that there had been a tunnel collapse. <coughs> yep. That was my doing. I brought the tunnel down that you, at the last moment, cool. I invoked a teleportation magic in hopes of spiriting Thancred away at least. Needless to say, it did not go quite as planned, and I found myself adrift in the live stream. So it didn't even go well. Yikes. That is pretty bad. No reason that they didn't fucking use it because it's 
clearly very dangerous. We just had to invoke the power of elementals to pull you out of the fucking twisting nether, dude. The others? Where are they? Did they not escape? They remain unaccounted for. You were the only one we have been able to find. I am truly sorry. It was the Crystal Braves who pursued you that day. My hubris that led to our undoing. Not entirely, Alpha No. Shut up. No apologies are necessary, Alpha No. You are not to blame for what occurred. Know that were our comrades here, they would commend you for keeping the light of hope alive. Yep. The light of hope. Oh, man. I've, I've made some YouTube videos talking about that. Dude. Oh, man. If hope and light and all that become big themes later, which they will, I'm going to have a fucking field day with this game's lore, dude. I love that shit. Once they really dig in into that shit and get into, like, darkness and raw despair and, like, that shit. Mm-hmm. That's a shit I do like, dude. Don't, don't worry. The others are alive and well. I'm sure of it. We mm. just need to find them. I mean, there's a fucking expansion literally called Shadowbringers. <laughs> like. Indeed, Tataru. Let us find our friends and rebuild the Scions. And again, there's an expansion called Shadowlands for World of Warcraft. That didn't mean it was good. <laughs> didn't, didn't necessarily mean ah. that. There is the Alpha No I remember. But I'm sure Shadowbringers. And I feel good. much the better for his return. Tis time I arose. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Now. I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> it's a shame, dude. It's a shame. <gasps> that reminds me. I have, I a, have change a change of clothes, clothes for you. For you. Mm. I don't like to boast, but I made them myself. I learned how to weave while we're in Ishgard, you see? Dude, her VA is super fucking good, too. The characters, they're starting to actually get into their VAs by this, into their characters by this point. They're starting to flesh them out and really, they're starting to really live as their characters when they're voicing them now. You can, you can hear it progressing through the expansion. It's fucking really, it's really interesting. A <laughs> little wave. Later. Ooh, she looks nice, dude. New drip. She's like scrutinizing her before she decides. Nice, dude. Looking good. She's a scholar. Right? Tataru has apprised me of all that took place in the aftermath White of the assassination mage? Conjurer. Plot. It would Black seem I have been away for some while. A white mage, essentially. She is not a white mage. A conjurer. Okay, not the same thing. She's a conjurer at this point in the story. Okay. Yes, much and more happened during your absence. At present, we seek to follow the Archbishop to Azisla. Oh, yeah, we got to fill you in, dude. There's lots going on. And you want for some manner of etheric ram to pierce the floating Isle's protective barrier? Oh, yeah, yeah. Tatru told her. She just told me that. Yeah, yeah. We do. How the fuck Why does she, she know be that? able to furnish us with one? Tatru just said she told her. Damn, she looks good, dude. Ooh, the heel's looking good! A means to prise open a hole in an Alagarn barrier. And one large enough to admit an airship, no less. Hmm. Nay, I lack the knowledge to devise such a weapon. I like the little shoulder pauldron there. Oh, they look they both look good. Her new outfit is sick, dude. I like As the I staff. Is it the same staff? Could. No, right? That's not she cause she had the wand, didn't she? Is this new? Right here? New staff. That's what I thought. Nice. You got to always make sure to take the notes that matter. <laughs> Take the notes that matter. 
<laughs> My god, dude. A leading figure in the field of etheric research, and one of the finest scholars ever to grace Charlian. Matoya, my former master. That's quite high praise right there. One of the finest scholars to ever grace Charlayan. Wow. A leading figure in the field of etheric research. Oh fuck, dude. I'm about to get some I'm about to get some juicy etheric lore, I'm pretty sure. Dude, God, this game's fucking This game's lore. And it's in it's in the game. How they explain how like forces and magics and, and, and things like that work in the game in the main quest line Ugh. Okay. Nice. Let's go. Dude, her new boots are fucking sick, dude. The two-tone with the red on the bottom is fucking sick. Can you buy that Mog from the fucking, can you get that? Can you get that from Mog Station? Oh, oh man. That's sick. Maybe when I inevitably go back to Cat Girl. Oh my God. There it is. Oh, that is a nice drip, dude. Oh, oh. That, that looks fucking so good. I love the fucking, like the, the third eye and the fucking sleeve there. Like that's, that's so sick. No, is anyone gonna mention to her? Is anyone gonna tell her that her eyes are fucking white? Has anybody noticed? Nobody in the party has noticed that? We're just ignoring it. And her new staff, that's cool. It's got like a bird skull in it. Some ether crystal looking shit. A little red dingly dangle. Somebody smeared some diarrhea on there, it looks like. I don't know what the fuck that is. Don't know what you mean? You know... Okay, they wouldn't do some shit like no one else knows. Am I the only one that can see that? No, they wouldn't do that, right? Like, the other characters see it, right? God damn it. All right, let's just move on. Okay, hold on. Let me get this fucking... Matoya. From 1 to 10, how much do you like cream cheese? Dude, I'll put cream cheese on a bagel. I'll put cream cheese as the on the... A little, just a little bit spread inside of a quesadilla. If you've never tried it, don't knock it before you try it, okay? Spread just a little bit of cream cheese. Get your chicken. Get your, get your seasonings. Get your cheese, all that. But trust me, it just brings a nice moisture to it. Trust I, I like cream cheese a lot, dude. Would you like 5,000 cream cheese? Um, I don't like it that much. Doesn't sour cream serve that purpose? But you don't want to cook sour cream. Trust. You don't want to put sour cream, you don't want to cook sour cream inside of a, inside of something on a skillet. Trust. You can do it with cream cheese, though. It's good. It's good. Trust me. Just put a little salt and pepper in there with like the cheese, maybe a little, I don't know. Some people put like taco seasoning in there to just give us some more flavor. You can put cumin. Cumin's a good one to establish uh, some of the, you know, Spanish kind of flavor, Mexican kind of flavors. I don't know. Cream cheese is top tier. Yeah, yeah. Cumin. It could be cumin or cumin. Some people say cumin. <laughs> some people say cumin. Cumin. <laughs> 
Bunch of coomers in the chat. Chill out. <laughs> Yo, gold stars. Thanks for the uh, $3 tip. Most NPCs don't fit nearly into classes and jobs. A neat thing in 14 is an NPC could be a similar job as you, but have access to spells and weapon skills that you haven't even heard of before. You know, World of Warcraft was kind of a similar thing. Like Anduin Rin. Uh, I think that Lumino would definitely attest to this as well. Lumino is really the one that brought it to my attention in the first place because Lumino off Lumino is Adrian Mornstar right there, by the way, who looks amazing. Uh, Lumino is one of my mods, and uh, he often... Uh... Anyway, the point is uh, that he... Oh, yeah, he often plays a cleric in, like, D&D &D and stuff like that. So when you think about what Anduin is in World of Warcraft, he's actually more of a cleric than a paladin or a warrior or a priest. So anyway... Uh, let's move on. Yustola looks absolutely smashing in her new outfit, don't you think? Oh, birdie blue. Uh, I don't need 5,000 cream cheese. Oh, man. But I do get an XP bonus from it and plus 7 vitality. That's a lot of cream cheese. Holy cow. <laughs> no, pun. <laughs> no pun intended, but holy cow. Let's take some cream cheese. I fuck with it. I like cream cheese. I don't quite like it quite that much, like I said, but it's in my inventory now, so that is what it is. I have a fucking espresso con panna. Why do I have a hunt? That that's 415 food. <clears throat> nice. That's probably what I'll start using. <laughs> Do some my elegant silver and all this bullshit. I do have that. I can sell that. What's that? Intelligent impressions. Your inventory organization makes me happy. Good. You gonna you organize your dyes like I do? Yeah. Just gotta put them in order, man. You know, all the greens in the front. You know, anyway, I mean, is it like that in my chocobo bag? Or did I just? Yeah. I mean, look at that. Mm. Mm. I'll stick them all in here and then I'll... Wait, I want the black. <clears throat> I'll put some russet brown over here because that looks like absolute dog shit. Quite literally. What the fuck are you doing? No! I don't want any more! I don't want any more cream cheese. I'm good, thank you, though. I don't need five more. Oh, you know what I was gonna do? I was going to... Fuck. <clears throat> oh, I see. It's gonna keep doing that. You always gotta have some black dye on you. I think that's like honestly a standard. Don't you guys think? Oh, I, I do have a Fantasia still. What the fuck? I forgot I even had that. Check Discord when you get a chance, bro. Uh. Oh shit, what is this? You did not. Taro Summers? You did not. Hold on, guys. I gotta take a trip to Mog Station. Black and white dyes always, dude. Streamer ate 5,000 cream cheese. This is what happened to his liver. This is that streamer's story. You did not. <clears throat> You're gonna try to put me in the drip. Yustola's modish attire. Delivered to this character? Yes. Next. Item code registration complete. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's really nice of you. Thank you. You get her hair as well? Shut up. Oh, man, that's so good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is your HUD style different than normal? Well, 
it just felt like being different. And so, because it was a denizen, a denizen of, of Heidelin, and it had enough faith in ether crystals, it literally just willed itself into another being. Enough people worship the UI, and he just he just made a change. It just it just happened. Thank you very very much again. Yeah, that's so nice of you. His odds a primal. Do you regret your WoW tattoo? No, nope, I don't regret any tattoos. I still think that the Burning Legion is fucking awesome, and Sargeras is cool, and Legion was a great fucking expansion, and uh, yeah, I'll always fuck with the big flaming guy. You know what I mean? My name is Pyromancer, but uh, no, I don't regret it. Yeah. I think if you're going to put something like that on your... You know, y you got to think, like, I didn't get that tattoo without thinking, hey, there might be a day where I never play WoW again. Of course, that's that runs through your head. At least it ran through mine, right? You have to think of that possibility. There might be a day when maybe I fucking hate that game. And you have to, th you have to think about that if you're going to put it on your skin. At least I do, so. You stole a tattoo when? Uh, I might get a, a naked you stole a tattoo. Let's go. I'm just kidding. Ashal wishes to tell you more about our former master, Matoya. Let's go. In my youth, I had the honor of studying under Matoya. In the field of etheric research, she was without rival. I have no doubt that with her knowledge, we will be of aid. she will be of aid to our cause. I have no doubt that her knowledge will be of aid to our cause. The question is, will she share it with us? My master has ever been willful. The gods forbid anyone disagrees with her. When the Galean Empire first marched upon Eorzea some 15 years ago, the denizens of Charlean were summoned back to the motherland. It's okay. The, Garle the Garlean Empire's first conquest on Eorzea was 15 years ago. Just want to make sure that I'm... It's only, it's only been 15 years. Yep. Yep. Alamigo? Alamigo was the first time that they ever did something like that. So this is relatively recent. 15 years. And was it... Sorry, Bahamut was five years ago? Seven years ago? Five years ago? Oh, Alamigo was 20 years ago. I need a fucking timeline, dude. I need to, like, literally draw up a timeline. I think that'd be honestly so useful. If anyone's willing to construct, like, one of my mods or something, like, a, a basic timeline, there's a timeline in the book. Oh, shit. But I can't read it yet. I need, like, a timeline that only, that only functions for my time. <laughs> I need a, such a custom timeline that it can literally only exist within the content that I've done. No, I don't think that that... <laughs> okay, that's, let's, let's move on. However, Matoya refused to join the Exodus. To this day, she lives in a hermit, lives a hermit's life on the fringes of the abandoned city. So it is, so it is to the Devanian hinterlands that we must go, to the place of my birth. we were even getting close to it. This map, uh, this map still has Alamigo on it. Nice. What's all that shit?
chat was zero self-control. Oh my god. Good thing I don't see any of it, because my mods are literal gods. Yo, uh, Arcterran, thank you so much for the Prime. Seven minutes ago, sorry that I missed that. Black and Dalaman Red. Mm-hmm. And Night Lullaby for resubscribing with your Prime for two months. Congratulations on your new sub badge, and thank you very much for being a subscriber. Yeah, thanks for the link anyway, Tylonius. I appreciate the effort. Alice and I were both born in Chalayan. Our days there were short. We remained only until the Exodus, and I have not returned since. I am worried. Oh, so it's to be a homecoming then. As fine a reason as any to go to Chalayan and it would afford us the opportunity to pay my master a visit. <clears throat> I believe you have mistaken our primary objective, Yishtola. At any rate, the journey will take us through largely unknown territory. Let us first return to Ishgard and make our preparations. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. To Ishgard. To, we got sniper rifles, they do. Are we in sub mode? Thank you guys, thanks for keeping things under control. Oh my god. You know, it's crazy. You put it on sub mode, the chat doesn't even slow down. Because we have fucking twice as many subs as we have viewers. It's in, it's insane. It's literally insane. Where are we going? To Ishgard. Alphano, the Ishgardian, Ishgardian, Ishgardian. It's X-Man. Thanks so much for the tier one. Welcome to the Garden Spad and Smeagles with a prime coming in. Bringing those numbers up, really do appreciate that. Thank you guys very much. Hey, just so you guys know, at 600 subs, we're doing a Final Fantasy Transmog competition. The winner, I'll probably give the winner uh, some gill or something, but you have to be on crystal. You've got to be on crystal. Sorry, that's the only way. It's not, uh, it, it's not to be just Black Mage. I mean, shoot, no, maybe it's probably got to be just Black Mage. Should we do that? At 6,000 subs, did I say six, did I say 600? I'm at 6,000. A thousand dollar scam train. Oh my God, two. A thousand, two dot, two hundred, two thousand bits. I'd say a thousand dollars. Whoopsies. Stevie, thanks for the two thousand bits, man. Really appreciate that. Six hundred thousand. Yeah, only six hundred thousand. Why not all casters? <sighs> yeah, we could do a cast. I mean, I, I feel like we could do anything, but I feel like we're gonna have so many people. I I'm. It's gonna be so many people. I'm gonna have to make a group first of all. And it would be so many people, I would never be able to get through them all, because I'd just be gawking at everybody's fucking outfits, dude. I wouldn't even be, if I if we had 40 people, I would never be able to get to the 40th person. There's no fucking shot. No chance. Scritted, thanks for the prime gaming. Appreciate that. Welcome to the garden, Spout. Welcome, everybody. Enjoy your new sub badges, emotes, all that good stuff, Nintendo. Thanks for the prime as well. What you doing? MSQ. That's a cute fucking mog, mog right there, Artemis, I'm telling you. So this is the Holy Sea. I should like to linger a while and take in the sights, but it must wait till, our, till after our mission. Yes. Stop. 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 Yeah, I like that. Is that a white mage? Uh, um, oh my god, please. Knock it off. The gifted sub, that's right. Oh, I thought you were talking about a glam contest. I was gonna come on my red mage. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A glam contest. Yeah, that's what I should call it. How about a 6k goal for that lore quiz with the mods? Oh, fuck. Is that Cloud's hair? I think it may have been. It looked good. Oh, shit. All of those look fucking sick. Yeah. That is yours. That is yours. And here's a... Uh, one of your special lights. And... <laughs> If you need something to open those. It's not actually sharp, but it'll cut stuff. Yeah, your guys' mogs look sick. I can't stand here and fucking... People will 
start to populate. Chalain, uh, Chalain is situated in the Dravanian hinterlands. I didn't know that. So Charlayan is a city of scholars, right? That's like their thing, isn't it? And that's where Louis Swa came from. He's Charlayan as well. Obviously, because he's the grandfather. Okay. And without being Charlayan, you, you can be one of those people that have the tattoo on the neck. What the fuck are they called again? That's not all the scions, is it? Is it all the scions? Archons. Thank you. That's the Archon mark. The circle of knowing. It's most of the scions. Okay. Yo, God damn it, Ross. Thanks for the prime gaming. Welcome to the... <laughs> Welcome to the Garden Sprout. So... When was the last time we heard from anybody from Charlene? Have we, have we met a character in this game that recently has been to Charlene? I don't know if I have. Circle of Knowing was Louis Swa's group. Moonbrita? Oh, she was over there. Yeah. Yeah, Tatar, uh, Tatar does not have a... Yeah, yeah. Okay. To get there, we must strike west and traverse the breadth of the Dravanian forelands. Make no mistake, it will be a grueling journey. The party shall be comprised of Pyro, Yishtola, and myself. Tataru, pray remain in Ishgard and continue the search for our missing friends. Yes, sir. That's a tall of girls? What? I guess it doesn't really need to be that tall. It looks nice. First, let us make for tail feather. Every everybody plays a trick in this game, dude. <laughs> Not everybody. Just most. It's the twins and Moonbreed? Yeah. Want a curse? What does that mean? No, do I want a curse? No. Like, do I want to be cur? Uh. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's funny. That's so funny. Hard no. It's just funny watching ch chat literally almost explode when I say that. I love it. All right, let's go to Tail Feather. I'm worried. Wait, is Charlayne's like, I would imagine Charlayne to be like this beautiful, scholarly, like nice architectured uh, place. But. Then I remember in one of the uh, one of the loading screens, what I thought was going to be Nidhogg's lair ended up not being Nidhogg's lair. And I was trying to find. I can see it on the map. I mean, I can see it on the map. It's. It it. Uh. Where are we going? Over here. No. Oh, I mean, that's where my quest is. Yeah, yeah. But we're going to the Dravanian Hinterlands. Well, let's go see. Because I don't... I already know Charlayan's not going to be what I just described. I, I already... I'm already... Yeah, I mean, look at it on the map. It's weird looking. Anyway, let's go. Maybe the people. Wait, wait a second. 
maybe is it possible? This is just a shot in the dark, but based on the fact that so much of this stuff up in this area was created during the time of peace between man and dragon, is it possible that Charlayan or the structure that Charlayan exists in or is a part of was not made by the people that live in it? Maybe it was something that's there that was there before? I don't know. A place for scholars to settle down? A place of importance? Maybe where, like, an ancient relic exists would make sense? Like, a place that scholars would want to live because they want to study it? I don't know. A long soak in the live stream, followed by a, a long journey. I would not recommend it to anyone. But rest assured, my strength is returning to me. I shall be back to my former self ere long. When last we set foot here, Estinian and Isail, and Isail were with us, though it was not that... Not at all that long ago. I find myself strangely taken by nostalgia. Hello. The exterminator and I am okay. Yishola is ready to press on westward to the Dravanian hinterlands. The fuck? Adamantite broadsword. Broadsword. Nice. I like that much better. Cool. I believe I am sufficiently rested. Let us continue west to Chalayan. Once we descend this mountain path, we will arrive at the Dravenian hinterlands, and there it is but a short distance to the city. Be warned that we shall be passing through Nath territory. We must needs be wary of them and the dragons both. Oh yeah, I'm fully aware. I spent some time up here, believe it or not. Do 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 do. I have seen Preach play a little bit. He just plays at late, late times for me, dude. Preach plays at like fucking two in the morning my time. It's fucking insane. Fucking EU boys going ham. I'm West Coast US, so it's like the worst fucking possible time. Hey, Clover. Hey. Come here, baby. <gasps> Do you want to say hello? <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, mama, mama. You're so cute. You're so cute. Can I have huggies? Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Oh, such a good girl. Oh, such good hugs. Such good hugs. Thank you. Good hugs. Thank you. I know. She's already getting huge. <laughs> Look at her, dude. She's she's going to be... I think she's going to be bigger than Olive, personally, but... You want down? Do you want down? Was that all? Is that all my love? All right. She's so good, dude. She's such a sweet dog. And this zone's so fucking gigantic. I'm still flying. I didn't even have to. Why am I going so slow? Oh my. You can fly at walking speed, chat. I didn't know that. I'm RP flying around. Uh oh. Dravanian Highlands. Dravanian Hinterlands. More like. Soon anyway. I wonder if there's a sightseeing log over there. Seems like a place where I'd put a sightseeing log, personally, for those who may have flying. Just want to look really quick. Oh, that fucking... Oh, oh hey, what's up? Oh. Okay. Yeah. That looks good. That fits you very nicely. My shirt, all my stuff fit really well. I'm really happy. I gotta figure out the pants, though, man, because if they're really gonna come in November, that's not gonna work, obviously. So I'll have to look on a little bit more. I love Dravania. Dude, it's... I love the music. The music is so good. The music everywhere in this fucking game is good. Yo, Natsume Yataku! Natsume Yataku! Natsume Yataku, I think is what that is. But anyway. Thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate that. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. 
No, hold on. Let me unlock this thing over here. I don't know what it is. I want to explore this region and then we'll go on to the next. Ah, nice. The shattered ruins of a once proud city, the official stance of the Holy See is that it was a settlement of heretics, raised to the ground by Halone in an act of divine retribution, though scholars disagree on the historical accuracy of this interpretation. Nice. Nice. Oh shit. Alright, here we go. That's so cool looking, dude. Old school RuneScape has bangers too, dude. If you don't fuck with Sea Shanty, you're the fuck you're an asshole. To the Thaliac River, oh, oh, where do the melted snows of Abalathia's spine eventually find their way by means of a thousand silver streams? Whose waters have long nourished the Dravanian hinterlands, and so provided for oh, wow. a settlement of beautiful. learned souls from across the northern seas. Okay, never mind, doesn't look like what I thought. To the city of Charlian, that great seat of knowledge now wow. abandoned by her keepers, they came. Okay. It's beautiful. But it is vacant. Matoya dwells on the far side of the Thaliac River. Let us search for a crossing. Okay, now what's that over there? It's raining, I know. Um... Oh, that's right, we cannot fly.
Oh shit. It's a scary looking bear. What the fuck? Ah! Fuck, there's another one. I don't want to fight that thing. Fuck that. There's so much hostility out here. Back to what the fuck I was trying to do. Huh. Yeah, I got on the fat chocobo. Expected him to make the jump. Good one. Thaliac River. Thaliac, the god of knowledge, wisdom, and water. One of them. It's nothing. Huh. Interesting. It's beautiful. Seems completely natural to me. What's this place called? Oh yeah, just out here. No love from the manso, I guess. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, chat. Um, we got a raid, and I didn't even fucking see it. Subscribe! Thank you! Thank you so much for the, uh, the raid. I I'm so sorry. I, I, I wasn't looking at, I wasn't looking at all. I didn't, I was not paying attention. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for the host. I hope that you had a great stream. Sorry that I only just now noticed, but I really do appreciate it. You mentioned it, but it was timed out. And what the fuck? Don't time people out for that. Thank you. 200 people coming on over. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In victory mode, thanks for the tier one sub. Uh, and Yashana for the prime eight minutes ago. Thank you guys both. Thanks, Scry. So you, do you know Lahi? Yep. Yep. Oh shit. Taiki JP, thanks so much for getting. Oh, oh my gosh. Thanks for gifting 10 subs in the channel. Holy shit. Thanks, man. Yo, get that get that Pyram gift emote in the chat, dude. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Use that little guy up. It's such a great it's such a great little emote. Thank you. Okay, here we go. The Architecton. The Architecton. From over there? Suck my balls, dude.
Are those Magitech Vanguards? Esper type Magitech Vanguard G3. And, a and Avic, thank you for gifting five subs as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome, everybody. Welcome all the new, uh, welcome all the new, uh, subs. Congratulations and easy clap, dude. Easy clap for those who dodged. Easy dodges, dude. We're out here fucking killing that. No one can dodge like you. No one can dodge like us. Wow, that's beautiful. What the fuck? Yikes. That is fucking terrifying. Fuck that. What up, Dark? Get the spray. Oh no. Oh, saved. Oh shit, oh. You need raid to kill those bees. You need more than raid, you need a raid. Fuck that. So these are a people that literally worshipped a god of wisdom. Among others, but, or maybe not. I think, wait, is Thaliac the patron deity of Charlea? Or Charlean? Yes? Am I gonna need to do a bunch of shit in this zone before I go to Azus La? Or is this gonna be like an in and out? Bunch? A fair bit? In and out? Okay, no one knows what's going on. Okay. Well, I'm not asking because the reason why I'm asking is because I section out my notes. So if I title this Charlay and, and then I put one little tiny thing of notes, it's just like, I don't know. Anyway. I don't want my typing to get deleted again. Really, guys, like, the pe when you guys, when you guys de like, complain about the mods deleting shit that you say... It's really annoying, man. Just like, just get over it and just move on and just don't type shit that gets deleted anymore. I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you. But it's just kind of it's just really lame to like sit there and complain because it's gonna just increase the likeliness that you're gonna get timed out because no one wants to sit there and see you just complain about you know having a message deleted. 
they're trying to protect me from spoilers. That's the point, guys. So I think you gotta you gotta remember that. And if you say something that's spoilery, they're probably gonna delete it. They don't they don't want you uh They don't want you naming anything. Not characters, not places coming up, not raids, not anything like that. So you just gotta be careful. Yeah, it's not like you're getting banned, so just take a deep breath. It's definitely worth this action. Okay. I'm confident I in that. Nice. They had that little shell symbol. Oh, dude, the music here is super good. Shocker, right? Yo, Cerebot. Tipped 14 bucks. You're finally... Your final fantasy stream gets me hyped to play when I get home from work. Don't stop. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop, Daddy. I'm glad. Thanks for the uh, tip, man. Pacific Northwest 255. Thank you for the Prime Gaming and Bell 1972. Thank you for the subscription with a Tier One sub coming in for your third month. Congratulations on the new sub badge. I'm loving this game, dude. Thank you for saying that. Mercadian gifting a Tier One sub to Siffy, 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 Siffy. Thank you so much. Your 31st or 34th rather gifted sub in the channel. Knowledge seeks no man. Says the motto of Charlene engraved upon yonder stone. The meaning is simple. It falls to us to seek enlightenment. Yeah? Knowledge is power. Yo, Stormy Chew coming in with a tier one sub. Thank you for that. Welcome to the Garden Sprout. Enjoy your new sub badge and emotes. And Donamic. Donamic. Donny Mike. Donny Mick. Donny Mick. I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you for the prime and welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's Cadgar City. Mm. Shell being appropriate for Shell for Shell being appropriate for Charlene because uh, they retracted in the moment of they retract the moment trouble hits. Oof. Watch them and learn how to read and write their language. During the sixth astral era, at the turn of the thirteenth century, men from the northern nation of Charlene journeyed across the seas to Eorzea in search of knowledge. You know what I like more than my Lamborghinis? Knowledge. Yo, uh, okay. Oh, check. Okoet, okoect. Ochoect. Anyway, thank you for the prime. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. No, hey, is my mic peaking at all today? Knowledge. Is my mic peaking at all today? No? Good. Over time, this camp grew into a settlement, and the settlement prospered, and so. And so much so that it came to be counted among Eorzea's great city-states. Alas, those glory days are now but a fading memory. With her keepers lost to her, Charlene has become an empty husk of her form former self. Just the one time where you got scared at the bear? Okay, good. Uplander is mistaken. Charlene has new keepers. Is on cusp of new age and glory. Oh, that's not the sound it made. It's. It's. No, sorry, that peaked the mic. Sorry about that. Sorry about that one. My bad. My bad. Vader breathing. Aggressive stances. Goblins, here's a plunder the city. <gasps> Uplander is mistaken, Muchly. We are not thieves. This place is our home. Oh, they can speak normal as well. They speak well as well. Your, your home? When last I looked, it was mine and Alphino's. We were born here. When Uplanders abandoned city, Uplanders gave up claim. Born here or no, Uplanders are trespassers. Okay. 
I mean, you know, I mean, shoot. Finders keepers, right? Finders keepers. You know what? Oh, shit. My friends, please. We do not come to dispute your claim to this land. Our purpose here is peaceful. We desire but to cross the river. Be calm, I beg you, and let us speak like the civilized folk that we are. Surely we can come to a mutual understanding. I'm looking at this guy. I'm looking at this guy. <laughs> My G-Shade preset you can get by typing exclamation point G-Shade in the chat. If that is the truth, then Uplanders are welcome here. Come with Slowfix. Goblins acting like they shat themselves? Mm, they look like they're wearing diapers. Um, it could be that... Yeah, yeah, there's the G-Shade. Shader works too. Yeah, G shade, shade, shader. Oh, I mean, if you want it to sound like he's talking behind a mask, I can. I mean, I can make that happen. I don't need to talk into a cut for that to happen. That's not that difficult to accomplish, but it just depends. <laughs> I've lived so fucking long. Sorry, a while dev. <laughs> Slow fix is a blizz dev. Sorry, a wow dev. Mm. Kind of surprising to see kobolds up here in Dravania. But I kind of agree. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. We're here. Ah, then they render out all that to make it look like... Mm -hmm. Why, hello there. Hello. That's racist. What? Those are goblins, not kobolds. Sorry, I, I meant no disrespect. I, I merely was confused. Misled by the chat, of course. I... I suppose it's only to be expected that others would come and occupy Shalea. Nonetheless, it feels akin to having strangers take over your home in your absence. Mm, fair. From the goblin's perspective, such a well-appointed city is certainly an attractive proposition. Uplanders pack up things and leave buildings empty. So is Gobby Flock coming and becoming keepers of Shalea. Okay. Illuminati must be sopped. Half six is racking brain case for ways to defeat them. Clever pranks or tricksy plans. Okay, mm -hmm. don't know what you're talking about, but okay. Holopix. Hol 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 picks. Hole picks. What? Hole picks, like like what kind of hole what kind of never mind. You have 5,000 cream cheese. Surely you can find compromise with these little devils. Hey, come here, you little shit. I'll trade you 5,000 cream cheese to go across the river. Here's the heart of the settlement. Name of I Idleshire. Wow, look at all the craftiness from the Charlay and the stuff left around. What have we got here? Guests. Greetings to you. I'm Alphano Levieur, and I may introduce and may I introduce my companions, Pyromancer and Yishtola. We have journeyed far in search of a friend, and seek to cross the river. But finding the main bridge collapsed you and looking for a detour, and ended up stumbling into Slowfix and his crew. Is that right? That is the short of it. That is the short of it, I. The short of it, you wee cunt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, is the, that is the short of it. This place. Idleshire. I came expecting a ghost town. Suffice it to say, I'm surprised to find it so alive. <laughs> well, with all them precious artifacts lying about, it was only a matter of time before treasure hunters like me moved in. But we weren't the first to arrive, neither. By then, Slowfix and his gobby friends were already settled. 
At first, Gobbies and Hunters disliked each other, but understanding came, then friendship. Now Gobbies and Hunters have joined hands to build Great Noon Nation. Idleshire for AFK. So what? Uh, so that's what happened after the Chalet and uh, after we Chalet and departed. Oh, so you're locals. No hard feelings, I hope. All these nice buildings, but no one to live in them. It felt like a waste, you know. We've been trying to put the place to rights, and things have been going well for the most part, but it ain't all smooth sailing. Not to sound ungrateful, but the traps your people left lying about are a bloody nuisance. And there's the Illuminati harrying us day and night. Slowfix has a bright idea. Uplanders desire mutual understanding, yes? Best way to understanding is helping one another. Help citizens of Idleshire, and Uplanders can be citizens too. Citizens are free to cross the river. What are you guys? Stop spamming the Illuminati shit! Is this Zap... Is, are you playing Zap Brennigan or Captain Kirk? Well, it's definitely... Definitely... Dev it's definitely not Captain Kirk. <laughs> Sometimes when I do certain voices, there are words that I can and and I can and 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 you know what I mean? I can't say. Fucking kills me, dude. Well, I'm not aware. Of, <laughs> well, I'm not aware of a quicker way to reach our, to reach our destination. Let us assist Slowfix and his people. I'm Doug Dibbidome, owner of the Dimsdale Dibbidome. You come on in. I'm gonna treat you right. Doug Dimmadome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimmadome Dimmadome. My mom's got the Dimmad Dick. I got the Dimmad Dick. Dimmad Dick, 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 to sound like Boomhauer. Oh, hell yeah, brother. I'm Dimmad Dick, Dimmad Dick, Dimmad Dick, I didn't even say words. I'm Dimmy Dick. I'm Dimmad Dick, Dimmad Dick. That's how, uh, that's how, like, uh, Nickelback songs go. Look at this photograph! That a beat of Bubba makes me laugh! <laughs> How did our eyes get so red? And Dada Beaver and Dabba Joey's head! You just fill in with gibberish until the last two words. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so Uplanders agree to help. Good. Here's what Slowfix wants Uplanders to do. Many golems prowl Idleshire. Get in the way of expansion plans. Slowfix wants Uplanders to eliminate golems. Uplanders are chalet, and yes, chalet and should know best way to deal with creatures. Huh. So we are, to we are to eliminate the golems. That should be a simple enough affair. The automata, we the automata, hmm. Were they the automata? Huh. They're near. Hmm. We must dispatch them. <laughs> Get it? Anyway, the automata were employed as sentinels, and by design can be unmade with a coded command. At the time of the exodus, it was knots and crosses. And I see no reason why it should not still work. Been watching you, uh, your content since Legion. Thanks, man. Cyberdose. That's a long time. It's been a minute. Listen, if these voices don't earn a sub, I'm going to start taking my clothes off, okay? I'm just... <laughs> That's a joke. Not going to happen. Voices are the best thing you get. Let us divide the task between the three of us and the quicker to be finished with it. With a chat mode in say, use your keyboard on the keyboard pro or the keyboard soft pro knots and crosses. Oh, okay, okay. Knots and crosses. Okay, I'm gonna have to type knots and crosses. At least once. JQ, thanks for the prime. You lucked out. <laughs> thanks, man. Sorry, it's just a prime. No, no, dude, don't be sorry. You guys know I get the same amount for a prime as a regular sub. You know it makes no difference to me, right? Don't ever feel bad about that, dude. It's the same shit to me. Abandoned golem. Rumble, rumble. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what do you mean the command doesn't exist? Oh, I have to say it. <laughs> Oh my god. Wait, why am I just using a command to make them crumble to pieces when I could just explode them with fire? Yo, Vexero, thanks for giving a tier one sub to close off, please. Okay, dude. Okay. 
Chill out. Samuel Dalloran, thank you so much for the prime. Welcome to the Garden Sprout. And Morghaven, 10 gifted subs because you're insane. Chat, I don't see any Pyrum gift. What the fuck's going on, chat? You're, you are slacking. People are throwing 10 gifted subs in the chat. Y'all are even using the... Y'all are... You get... Listen, if you're a new... If you are a new sub because you just got gifted one, go ahead and throw a Pyrum gift or maybe a Pyrum love in the chat for, uh... For, uh... Morghaven for the gifted subs there. But if you didn't get one, easy fucking clap. Dodge in the chat, dude. Easy. It's the easiest game we ever played. Yo, Gats Ocean, thanks so much for the tier one. Welcome. Welcome to the Garden Sprout. Wait, Pyro fans only... Pyro only fans confirmed. Aren't they getting rid of... You can't do sexual content on Holy Fans anyway? Only f did I say holy fans anywhere? Wow, only fans anymore? That's what I meant to say. Knots and crosses. Oh my god, my chat stopped scrolling. Why? Is the new outfit in the post? It is. I'm actually just waiting to get near a post box and I'll probably retrieve it. Oh, I actually walked right by one. Clever. I wonder, is that like the Temple of Thaliac? What is that? Like, that's a big one. There's also, like, different layers of that building. Am I mistaken? Oh, no! Elois, hello. Elois? Don't you lump in... Uh, don't you lump me in with these so-called treasure hunters. If you ask me, they're nothing more than a pack of thieves and vagabonds. I'm something much more respectable. I am a bounty hunter. <laughs> yeah, okay. Very respectable. What's that? Oh, it's just the gate into the upper part of the city. It's not actually, like, a structure. What the hell is that? Oh, I should probably... Hold on. Okay, I'm, I'm ADHD brain. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's start with getting this out of the mail. Taylor, think about the tasks you want to do and how you'd like to prioritize them in order of importance. What will take the least amount of time? And start with that one. Like that, we've accomplished it. Next, we'd like to go and visit the Aetherite because I know that it'll only take approximately 8 to 10 seconds to attune to it. It was second on my list because it wasn't the closest thing I was standing next to. So we'll go ahead and attune to that. Just kidding, it only takes like four, five, six, maybe it takes, I don't know, six, seven seconds? It takes too long. And then we turn around and go to MSQ. Wow, insane. Crazy. But, I also got, yeah. Golems are no more? Wonderful. Now we can resume work to expand settlement. Yeah, okay, dude. I, I don't think you're understanding. Adamantium Sanctum. Scutum. You can get your Heaven's Ward Tombstone gear here. Are you fucking lying to me? Where? Unctuous Adventurer. Ah, <laughs> nice beckon. I like it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. What is this building? Oh, I just I have to take a few notes. Oh, no, no. I, just, I don't remember reading anything about that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Alexander Parts Exchange. What's that? Alexandrian items. Alexandrian Manifesto Exchange. D-O-M. Alexandrian Metal Rod. Oh, whoa. 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 That's like weird, elegant, almost. Alexandrian Manifesto. The fourth page of the Illuminati's least known catechismal catech... catechism... Is that what that is? Catechismal? Masterwork? Ooh. Ooh. 
That's cool. Okay. Coat of casting. Oh. Oh, that even looks good. Just, oh my god. Oh! Whoa! Whoa. Okay, hold on. Gloves of casting. Hoods of casting. Ooh. Bottoms of casting. Boots of casting. Oh, whoa. That's kind of sick. Ooh. Ooh. Looking real cool. Wow. A rapier. Let's try that. Oh, that's so sick. Oh. That's so sick. Red Mage's rapier. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to play a red mage because rapiers are fucking sick. Alexandrian part exchange. Prototype Alexandrian coat of casting. Ooh, not as good though. Okay. Primal gear exchange. What? Primal gear. Whoa. Pr primal gear four. Zuranite Pole. Whoa. What else you've got? Totem gear? Ooh, ultimate stuff. Whoa. Whoa. Am I fucking blind? Oh, there it is. Oh. What? Oh. That is so sick. Oh. Those are cool, dude. Iconic gear. Ooh. Augmented hailstorm. Oh, wait. Wait. I think I've seen this stuff before. Am I tripping? Oh, no. Maybe I haven't. No, I haven't. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, nice. Those are sick. Those are sick. No, I know. I know who I'm supposed to be trading. I know what I'm I know what I'm after. It's fine. Oof. Oh, this is just the weapons in here. I see. Nice. Yo, uh, Kale, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Thanks for joining the, the Garden Sprout.
You set the hat. I hit that. Cool, cool. Heck yeah. She you want to do a roulette real quick to get some Telm stones? Just kidding. I think I'm going to get enough anyway. Check the dies out. Ooh, that looks good. Ooh, that looks good. Looks amazing in red. Yeah. I paid it. I, I, I had someone tell me about the black mage job changes. That's pretty much it. Ooh, dark red is nice. I need an inn. Keeping up with the Ali Ali huh. Ali oppose. What do I? What is that? The devil. That's a weekly thing. An adventurer stands before you wearing a shite and grin and gazing at you in a way that makes you not entirely comfortable. Okay. Mansa? Why, Romansa? Gods! It really is you! I've heard the songs and tales, but to think the day would come that I'd meet you in the flesh. Whatever have I done to deserve such an honor? Drat, with all the days to forget to polish my armor, she must think I'm a total bumpkin! But wait, dare I ask? No, no, I daren't. To impose on such a hero. Uh, but what's the harm in trying? Yes, I, I must try. You see, I'm in a bit of a bind. A pickle, if you will. You see, I've just taken on a task of sorts. A task far, far beyond the abilities of a two-gilled greenhorn like myself. But you, yes, a realm-renowned hero like you could tackle this monumental task in your sleep. Blindfolded, and with both arms and legs tied behind your back. So you'll do it for me, yes? Wonderful! Just head over to Rowena's and tell Chloe Poey that you're there to help. D did I say Chloe Poe? Chloe Poey? I, I, I meant uh, Chloe Aliapo. That isn't my silly little nickname for her, and I certainly haven't been frequenting her shop every day for the past two moons. That her ever so cute little smile my bright and oh, my dark and dreary days. Uh, but I, I've blabbered on enough, haven't I? <laughs> Ta-ta! Aww. Aww. So That's so sweet. Repair my shit, Goblin Tinker. Whoa. Did that fall off of that tower?
There's a lore nerd is hiding back here. The fuck? What the f What? What? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, this way. It's a g g g g g ghost All right, here we are. Is your robe an umbrella for for that crab? Essentially. Hello hello there, lady. I'm Chloe. Chloe Aliapo, and who might you be? This, is, this better be a grown-ass woman, right? Now that looks like a child. I'm confused. It's not. That's a child. About 12. That is a child. She's a McKitten. Pyromancer? The Pyromancer f from all the stories? Wow, you're, you're like a legend! A real living and breathing legend! This is so exciting! Did I tell you I love stories? Well, well, I do. And not just listening to them, I'm pretty good at telling them, too. I had this friend whose mommy and daddy went away and never came back. And, well, she gets lonely and cries sometimes. So I tell her stories to cheer her up. That's right, stories of brave adventurers like you. She likes my stories. She stops crying and even starts smiling and laughing. Seeing her happy makes me happy too. But lately she's just been staring off into space again. It must be my fault. I bet all my stories are starting to sound the same. But then I had an idea. Do you know what it is? I'll ask great adventurers like you to tell me your stories. And then I'll put them together to make new stories of my own. It's a really great idea, right? Tell me you think so too. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. So you help me. Rowana gives me all sorts of things when I work hard. So if you do this for me, I can give some of them to you. What sort of things? Well, tone stones for one. And well, all kinds of other special stuff. But not my Mandragora pin. That, that's all mine. So do me a favor, remember all your bestest stories, and write them in this notebook here. I call it Chloe's Wondrous Tales, because I have a tale and I tell tales. Get it? Every time your stories help me come up with a new tale of my own, I'll give you a present. It'll be a lot of fun for the both of us, don't you think? Thanks, Pyro. And by the way, you're even cuter than I pictured you from the stories. Yeah, she scares the shit out of me. Welcome to Wondrous Tales. Henceforth, you can share your tales of heroism uh, and daring do for the chance to earn valuable rewards. To begin, you'll want to obtain a Wondrous Tales journal from Chloe Aliapo. In this is the way you should see it, a new journal will be made available every week. Within the journal is a card with 16 squares, four columns and four rows, each representing a certain quest or duty, or a category of the same. Try and for the corresponding category er, in the corresponding adventure, and the square will be marked off. You can mark off up to nine squares on a single card. Complete the conditions described within, for example, marking off nine squares, marking off four squares in a row, and so forth. And deliver your marked card, your marked journal to Chloe. And the loving the story loving uh, Makote child will reward you accordingly. To to view objectives and see which squares you've marked off, as well as view reward conditions and time limits, you'll need to use the journal from the key items menu. The new journal will be available from Chloe Alipo every week uh, on Tuesday at 1 a.m. Earth time. <laughs> Happy adventuring. Check her tail. Does she have one? Do you not get a tail till you're older? Don't they get that when you're way older? Oh wait, is that her tail? That's not a tail. That's it is her tail. Oh my god, she just has a little short stub. It kind of blended in. I thought it was part of like her belt or something. That is a tail. Wow, little teeny one. 
a little teeny tiny tail. Well, cool. Cool unlock. Uh, let's unlock this Ethernet shard. You can G-pose and use light. That's fine. FBI, open up! Check out the journey you just unlocked? Nah, I think I'm gonna hold on for a little bit. Then we need to open up the book you got. It's EXP challenges. I'm not, I don't think I really need XP challenges. I'm level 61 right now anyway. Yo, Gravel, thanks for the prime. Welcome to the Garden Sprout. Golems are no more. Wonderful. Now we can resume work to expand settlement. I'm gonna take a Lancer's arm. Dragoon! Yeah. Slowfix has the look of a goblin who's about to ask a favor. Uplanders help Gobby Flock, earned right to be citizens of Idleshire. But Slowfix must ask another favor. Another favor, you say? Short time ago, dear friend of Slowfix ventured into Illuminati territory. Illuminati are nasty goblins, show no mercy even towards Gobbykin. Slowfix fears for friend's life. Please find friend before Illuminati do. I am suddenly taken by a sense of foreboding. <laughs> Be that as it may, we cannot turn a blind eye. Let us make haste and find Slowfix's friend. I think you guys gotta always remember in chat. I think y'all gotta remember. Everyone's just excited for different reasons. Some people want me to check out the rewards and get excited about them and, you know, be involved in that and, and that kind of stuff. And some people want to protect me from spoilers more. And some people want me to go to a nightclub. And some people want me to be a Lala and all sorts of stuff. So I think that uh, you're all on the same team. Just got to remember that. It's all, it's all good vibes here. It's all just a good time. Nightclubs are actually fun, though. That's what I've been told. Some want you to strip. True. Some people want me to, like, be... I don't know. Iron Shumbo, thanks for the Prime Gaming as well. Thanks for subbing. Thank you so much for subbing. You've done, you've done a great service this day. This day. Excited for your voicing? Someone wants you to ban their ass? Wait, what? That To ban their ass? Oh, jeez. I want you to enjoy yourself. Thank you. I want to enjoy myself, too. What's this little motherfucker got for me? What's up, motherfucker? Tap clicks. Oh, right, right. You're a stranger. You're a sneaky peeker. You're a thief working for Illuminati. You can't take these things. No, no, no. They are for all to enjoy, but Illuminati always try to steal and hide things. Tablix must be on constant guard. If you say you're a gobby friend, then prove it. Find Illuminati and defeat them. Drive them away from this place. The time to go. Fuck up the Illuminati. I saw your clip of you doing Magni. I was in fucking tears, dude. What are you talking about? Who friend, Lightfellow, thanks for the tier one sub. <coughs> What are you talking about? <clears throat> I've absolutely never been known to do any Magnus. Well, they're not, we're not healing wounds out here. We're just, tr we're just trying to collect more Azerite. Oh, champion! 
Oh! Runes. Excuse me, can you do me a favor? Don't attack things that I'm attacking, please. Great, thank you. You've just wasted all my fucking cooldowns by killing those when you shouldn't have touched them. But thanks for trying to help me. I know you're trying to help. Now oh, the quest is going to have to reset. Right, I'll be back. Go get a drink. Sorry about that. Goofran, thanks for subbing with a tier one. Zero origins. Resubbing for two months. <clears throat> Can't wait for you to complete all of 14. Also waiting on the YouTube drop. Quickly became my favorite streamer. Wish we had more days, but I'll be around for the journey and more. Keep it up, dude. Thank you very much. Yeah, so... Um... By the way... 
I think that... I think I'm going to add Saturdays. So I think we're going to stream tomorrow, too. Oh, it wasn't respawning it. Oh, that one is VODs on YouTube. Okay. You slew Illuminati Fighty Force. You are a true gobby friend. The things here are for all people of Idleshire, but Illuminati try to steal them away. Illuminati is our enemy. Illuminati is your enemy. This means you are our friend. What is happening here? Are they like speaking to an NPC that I can't see? Oh, yeah. How long are you going for this evening? <clears throat> At least three more hours. Two or three. Oh, it could be in a cutscene. Yeah, yeah, very possible. Very likely. Spooky. It's finding the drill for Azislaw, yes. Oh. <clears throat> Had a nightmare last night, the power ran out of ink in the middle of a cutscene. Ran out of ink. Oh, and on my pen. Yeah, that would suck. That would suck. Brave flocks, all talks. <laughs> Excuse me. An Illuminati incident. Okay, let's do it. Been a while. Bray Fox from the Cheese Quest. <clears throat> Goodly Uplander. Long time no eye catch. What is bringing Uplander here? <gasps> Does Uplander have lusty eyes for junk of Bray Fox? Uplander must not be touching junk of Brayflox. Brayflox is fighting junk thirst. I knew I recognized that voice. Greetings, Brayflox. It's been a while. Forgive us for interrupting your work, but Captain Wees <clears throat> Captain Weeskeet gave me uh, gave me to understand that you are marked by the Illuminati. This happens to be Illuminati held territory. Is it wise to be here? Brayflax eat Illuminati for synopsis. <laughs> who eats who for synopsis? <laughs> Bray 
Flox all talks. Unwise you are to come here after dirty taking secret knowings of cheese make from Illuminati. Brayflox did no one right. Cheese recipe is gobby birthright. Save tongue flaps for trading in death pit. One of those fucking things again. Oh. Oh. Oh no. When I run out of ink, just bite my fingers and write my stories in blood. Pray to Godfathers, for punishment is near times. It appears we have no choice. <laughs> I fuck with it. Essence of life, smite mine enemy. Whoa. That was cool. Illuminati no match for furious god fists of brave flocks. Uh -huh. More junk is awaiting brave flocks, Muckley. Muchly? Muckley? Muchly? Brave flocks is taking leave of uplanders. Okay, bye. This troll is terrifying. It is known. Yeah, she just literally fucked on those guys, dude. Oh, Alpha No even comments. Amazing. How did you learn such a potent spell? <clears throat> Does being exposed to the life stream? make you better at manipulating ether? Hmm. <clears throat> so that was the famous Brayflox. I have newfound respect for the company of heroes. That the motley crews, that a motley crew such as theirs could achieve the feats they did bespeaks unwavering solidarity. The spell's called Spiritual Ray. Being embroiled in a cheese war is the last thing I expected to come to, <laughs> to sh expected coming to Charleian. At any rate, we have fulfilled Slowfix's request. Let us return with good tidings and be on our way. <coughs> yep, sounds good to me. The music here, dude. Oh. And yeah, this zone is fucking big, dude. Fueled by the power of ultimate sass? Evidently. <laughs> uh, Chloe learned that when she was five. Blood for the blood god! 
Huh. All right, here we go. Here we go. Da -da -na 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 -na. Uplanders are back. Did Uplanders find friend of Slowfix? That didn't really sound like a question. Of Slowfix? <laughs> Time has not cured recklessness of Brayflocks. Without help from Uplanders, Brayflocks would now be dead, Gobby. Slowfix owes Uplanders debt of gratitude. Slowfix and Brayflocks are joined by an unseverable Gobby bond. If Slowfix had known that Uplanders are friends of Brayflocks, Slowfix would have welcomed Uplanders to Gob Gobby Flock at first meeting. Oh, well, you didn't ask. <clears throat> Stupid bitch. God, why is staff so fucking ugly? Uh. Leaving Idleshire. Mm -hmm. Time to get the fuck out of here. An anonymous gifter gifting a tier one sub to Blood for the Blood Lily. What the hell is going on? The blenders have held, have upheld bargain most highly. As promised, slow fix makes up landers honored citizens of Idleshire. Free to cross river at will. No uplanders must leave for now. Slowfix hopes that uplanders will pay many visits and help build great new nation. <laughs> you are most kind, my friend. You may be certain that we will return. I must confess, at first it upset me to learn that my home had been occupied by others, but now I see that it is in good hands. Under your care, I look forward to seeing Charlayan thrive once more, to, be to become a home to people of all races and creeds. Slowfix has already <laughs> Slowfix has already ordered the Gobwatch to let Uplanders through. Safe travels. Why see Zavala? Just because I like doing that voice. <laughs> Just because I like that voice. And it's easier for me to, to do than the goblin voice. Alphano, Pyro. Shall we then? Lance Riddick is not in this game, brother. You don't know the truth. Guardian. I need to let you in on a secret. Be sure to tell no one. What I'm about to tell you could risk the very safety of the tower. I'm bold, Guardian. Dude. <clears throat> that was actually sent to me in a fucking... in my chat randomly one day. Gavala, why is that voice so on point? You know, because I've played a lot of Destiny. I used to be a goddamn monster in the Crucible. A fucking absolute monster. Then one day, they sunset all my good guns. My god rolled... My god... My god rolled spare rations. Into the dirt. Zero respect. How am I supposed to get back into the crucible? I don't even have my guns. Can you do a Shax? For Shax, you just yell. Good going, Guardian! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you just... <laughs> no, I've never tried Shax. If I listened to him enough, I could do it. What? No, that's not Shax. He's pretty good. Just, get, just get better, Guardian. He, see, he's always so. You know, that's always the nicest thing about Shax. He's always so fucking. Yo. Thanks for the five gifted subs, man. I really, really do appreciate that. B2 cool. Thank you, and congratulations to those who were gifted a sub. If you enjoy the sub benefits, maybe consider continuing your subs. If you guys are currently subs and you were gifted your subscription. And you've really enjoyed it, you've used the emotes, you've had a good time being a part of this community and being here on the stream. You should consider continuing that gifted sub. I'd appreciate that. Anyway, let's move on. Half, half six is a very important task for, for trusty Uplander. It must be done with fastness. <laughs> Etherite of Idleshire needs of inspection. Maybe needs upkeep too. 
If gobbies don't take a look and fix little problems, its spinnings may shudder and stop. Oh, there is a very big boom. But Halfix, Halfix does not have the right tools. <laughs> Y'all, thanks for the prime. Not a virus. Convincing. Uplander, there is no time to waste. Have six needs ether flow distributors. The nearest are in base. Are in base of Illuminati. Come, come and raid their store pots. <clears throat> Did you know Zavala is the original first member of the Blue Man Group? If you guys knew that, that's some Destiny lore for you. Um, click locks. Click locks offers warm and hearty welcome to Uplander. Join Gubby Flock in the grim experiment. I shall be very cross if we ask to clear this mountain of rubble. So, we are free to go where exactly? <clears throat> okay. That's not good. Oh, it is good. Oh, he's gonna blow it up. By order of Chief Slowfix, Uplanders can come and go at will. Treasury Gaming, thanks for the Prime! Welcome! One moment for clearing away the barricade. <laughs> Finally, we can continue our journey. <laughs> Just do every voice. What? Jeez, guys. <laughs> and then it's over there panicking. Got him! <laughs> <clears throat> Barring any misadventure, we shall soon arrive at the cave where M Matoya resides. Unless you've unfinished business in Idleshire, let us strike out at once. No, let us get the fuck out of here. I'm ready to go whenever you are. Let us go and meet the legendary Matoya. Ahead lies the answering quarter, where the scholars of Chalet and gather to hone their knowledge. Even from this distance, tis plain that much of it has been given back to the back to the wilderness. Back to the wilderness. Red Mage's arm, Aru Mage's rapier. Oh my! The cave in which Matoya resides is situated in the southern ridge of the hinterlands. In choosing the spot, my master desired privacy above all else. As such, the cave is extremely well hidden. You'll not find it unless you know where to look. We shall follow the road south until we reach a bridge. Rather than cross it, we shall ford the stream it spans, then head straight until we arrive at the base of a bluff. Okay. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. I'll tell you. Oh. Oh. World War II is happening right in front of me. <laughs> There's another one. Quiet on the Eastern Front. A fun fact, Matoy is a recurring character like Sid in the uh, FF series. I don't know that I'm familiar with her. 
I don't, I don't think I am. Damn, we're literally going to the... <clears throat> oh, that one's back there. Paths of Contemplation. So most young's Arboretum? The Charlanes have saints as well? Probably not nearly as many as Ishgard, of course, but... Kate is a legend. And legends never die, Guardian. Fun fact for the person with the fun fact. Your fun fact wasn't very fun. Are Ishgardian saints, though? I mean, in the definition of the word. Uh... That doesn't change the fact that they're referred to as saints. They get sainted, so yes. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think that really... <clears throat> I don't think that really matters. What is the FF game that inspired 14 the most? I'd say six myself, maybe three. I have no idea. I'll watch you at work, but not on the way home. Y yeah, be safe, man. Be good? Yeah, yeah, you too. <clears throat> Drive safe. That's a responsible decision of you. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. The Charlans are are a peace are a very peaceful people generally, aren't they? They're not they're not uh, not to want for war. Maybe maybe that's not true. I don't know, I don't know that much about the Charlans. Like, I feel like I know a little bit about some of them. Like a few, I know a fair bit about a few of them, but I don't really know. Because the impression that they that's been given to me is that they're, um, yeah, they're just like scholars. Maybe that's not the case. I wonder if there's any remnants of ancient civilization still lingering in the in this world that we don't know about, <clears throat> like little sects of them that survived and. That'd be, uh... I'm just kind of exploring. That sounded hypothetical? Typically it is. You mean rhetorical? Normally if I if I genuinely want a real answer, I will ask. I will I will I will explicitly state that and make that clear. That way people aren't in like a weird place of like, whoa, well what can I say? And, or do I answer that or do I not? Have you looked into the War of the Magi stuff? Yep. A little bit. <clears throat> like I know the civilizations and what, you know, what kind of magics they were generally using, and 
what it, you know, what it caused. The ruling quarter. All kinds of herbs grow here, and they appear to be, and they appear very well tended. This is the entrance. You seem unconvinced, Pyro, but that will only add to the surprise. A word of warning before we proceed. Stubborn geniuses make poor hosts. From time will have done not to improve my master's temperament. Not that but there will be sentinels and traps both to deter unwanted guests, but we will not be deterred, will we? Go on and touch the wall yonder. You will want to leave your weapon near... Have your weapon near at hand. <clears throat> On a vague answer, you would have see seen uh, some stuff around 50-ish via side dungeons if you did them. I may have, man. Those sentinels may suffice to discourage the the average trespasser, but not the warrior of light. The way should now be clear. Come, let us go and see my master. Let's do it, dude. It's rude to enter without knocking. <laughs> the use of today. No manners at all. Though we neglected to knock, we did create something of a commotion. I had hoped that would suffice. Heavy handed as ever, I see. And still not a hint of grace. Some things never change. To give credit where credit is due, I learned from the best. It has been too long, Master Matoya. Indeed it has. Oh, it's good to see you again, my girl. And with your fiery spirit unquenched. But look at you, all grown up and womanly. Mm. The one there in the fancy duds. That's Louis Soir's granddaughter, I take it. <laughs> Get fucked, Alphano. <clears throat> Grandson, begging your pardons. You knew my grandfather, my lady. Knew him? <laughs> Yo, Darkwell, thanks we for tipping ten bucks. Can you do a deep empire fronts. voice? Like what do you mean? Dogs we were. Treasury Gaming, thanks oh, for the prime. Stubborn bugger was your grandfather. <laughs> Never a dull moment when he was around, though, I'll give him that. As for you, boy, I've known you since you were a rosy-cheeked babe at the teat. Oh, that's a way of putting it. A deep empire voice. You mean like the Garlan Empire? I don't know. Treasury, thanks again for the prime. All right. And my sister too, I gather. May I say what an honor it is to meet you again, my lady. Spare me the hollow pleasantries, boy. I'll wager my remaining good teeth. You didn't come to a forgotten corner of Eorzea to flirt with a wrinkly <laughs> old woman. Now out of it. What is Maybe it you need Maybe that is what we me? came for, Matoya. I mean, shoot. Granny got gums, you feel me? But none of us have a dick, so... Aziz Love. I never thought I'd hear that name again. 
You are familiar with it. As familiar as one can get from poring over musty old tomes. The Alagans set the Isle afloat not long before the sun set on their empire. Old Louis Soir and I often talked about it. The place is home to a research facility dedicated to finding ways of mastering mighty beings such as primals and dragons and find ways it did to frightening ones. Okay. Such secrets as lie buried on Azizla aren't fit to see the light of day. And now you tell me a band of dragon-beating primal botherers are trying to dig them up? Yep. Indeed. And to make matters worse, the Asians have a hand in their plot. They must be stopped, no matter the cost. I see. Very well. You will help us then? Truly? I had not anticipated such an impassioned response. Could it be that the presence of young blood has stirred your own? Ah, some things never change. One day that pertness is going to cost you your tail, my girl. Don't say I didn't warn you.
frog right there. You guys couldn't see it, it was behind the camera, but... Do you see the Tums lying about like so many cheap romances? They are priceless. My professor, professors at the stadium would have fits if they sold them in this state. Being here calls to mind my studies, my days studying under Matoya. Though she was the strictest and most erasable of mentors, she led by example and inspired one to greater heights. Were it not for her sage guidance, I should not be the woman I am. Straightforward room. Evil Nipus still swish with Evil Nipus still swish with Huh? Hello? Okay. Oh. Oh, it's backwards. Love sweeping, let's swish, swish. I'm disrespectful to dust. Can you see that I'm serious? Wow. Let's sweeping love. Room lore. Wow. It's a reference? Yeah, I don't get it. Can you tell that I don't get it? Self possessed room? I live to sweep. Sweep with me or die. Statue esque room. None shall bite the dust. Out of my way, adventure. This is no place for adventuring. This is weird. Okay, let's get my shit and let's go. Oh, shit. Greetings and welcome to my mistress's abode. How may I serve you, Ribbit? What kind of place is this? I am Toro Rago, a humble servant of Mistress Matoya. Ribbit. In Charlayan, it is a common place to make servants of animals and objects by imbuing them with intelligence. What? Okay, that's interesting. By my mistress's grace, I was raised from a lowly toad to become a parago capable of speech and reasoning. But be warned, Ribbit, for not all paragos you meet will be as civilized and refined as I am. The masterless creature outside the cave, for instance, will attack passerbys unprovoked. Left behind during the exodus, they have taken leave of their powers of discernment. In addition to we paragos, my mistress also has brooms for her servants. Together, we aid her in many and more ways, from her research to her daily needs. Indeed, there's no end to the tasks that we want for doing, Ribbit. Lennox Seer, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Uh, welcome. 
Welcome to the Garden Sprout. Appreciate that. Thank you. At 6,000 subs, you guys, we're going to do a, a Transmog competition. And uh, let me tell you this. Here, here, here is a deal for you, chat. For if you if you want to do for the uh, for for I ordered I or <laughs> okay I already ordered a uh, a cosplay I ordered a Final Fantasy cosplay it's gonna be tailored to fit my body so I know it'll fit and I ordered a weapon with it but you guys don't get to see it unless we hit a goal now that goal is something that. I don't think I'm entirely set on yet. I have an idea, I think, of what I want to do. But I think that it, I think what I want to do is if we can keep... See, because I think that always setting higher and higher and higher sub goals isn't always the, the best or most like fun way to do sub goals, necessarily. I think that if we could sustain a certain amount of subs for like th like three months in a row... Like if we could do like a, like a streak essentially, where when we end the month, if we're at a certain number, then, you know, we get it, right? I think that'd be a fun way to do it. Because I'm also not going to have it available in my hand for like two months. So. Yeah, anyway, just an idea, something I was thinking about. But yeah, I did order that. What kind of place is this? This cave is hidden, the hidden abode of Mistress Matoya, Ribbit. None are aware of its existence save you and your companions. When my mistress first made it her home, it wasn't the most inviting of places. For one, the floor was bestrewn with the bones of various creatures. But through my mistress's magics and the broom's tireless sweeping, it eventually became the snug place you see now. The dampness remains to be sure, but that happens to be how we Paragos like it. I hope you don't mind, Ribbit. Okay. Now I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Oh. Oh. Repair my gear. Just kidding. Nothing has happened. Sarorago is a picture of ner nervous energy. Uh, n n n n n n n n Woe is me! Mistress Matoya will have my hide! They hyped her as being hot as fuck? Yeah, so did my chat. My chat also hyped her as being hot as fuck, and then we got to her, and she was an old ass woman, and I didn't even say anything about it, dude. Thanks, Lennox. Thank you. And she was hot as fuck. Okay. Y'all motherfuckers. Y'all motherfuckers. You need to look past her oldness. Um. No. The only thing past her oldness is dust and death. It's the only thing that you see when you look past someone her fucking age. You, you were our guest, and yet you would lend me your aid? Oh, thank you, kind adventurer. I'm in your debt. Permit me to introduce myself. I am Sararago, a humble servant of Mistress Matoya. I'm tasked with picking leaves from her herb garden, for which I make her hot tea. Pretty sure I've, uh, pretty sure I've seen a model mod to give Matoya a dump truck. Oh my god. <laughs> That's because you never had a gummy before. <laughs> They don't call it that, right? That's not. <laughs> My finger's inching towards the emote button, chat. That was a mod that said that, I'm pretty sure. No, that's one of our VIPs. <laughs> that's funny. I attempted to get rid of the pests, but they're too much for a lone Parago to handle. I'd be grateful if you could eliminate them in my stead. Parago needs a bonk stick. Dude, we do need a fuck. The chat needs a fucking mods. We need a fucking, we need a bonk stick. We need a bonk emote. Uh, 
Uh, let us reminisce. Twas some um, fifty years ago, shortly after Garlemald had brought all of Ilzabad under its rule. So Garlemald has been expanding for a long time. I want to go to Garlemald. That'd be cool. Faced with a threat of invasion, the people of Charlayan scrambled about for a means to resist Tickets are expensive. The yeah. For my part, I tried looking for them I on like Eventbrite and stuff. Developing an etheric converger. Ah, yes, a device which draws in ether and concentrates it to produce a destructive force. You mean a laser beam? But as my research neared its end, it was denounced by the Forum, who claimed that my device was more likely to destroy us than our enemies. No Ubers to the Imperial City? Are you serious? After that, they and I had a little falling out, and I decided to seal away all the fruits of my research. Lest the dunder-headed ingrates reap any benefit. Huh. Petty, I know, but gods. It was they have COVID, They have a COVID outbreak? Oh, fuck. They, they do. They haven't been wearing their masks, man. I've seen it on the news, dude. Yo, Vadorn, thanks so much for the Prime Gaming. Welcome to the Garden Sprout. Appreciate that. Do mine ears deceive? Twas you, was it not, who were so fond of saying that all knowledge exists to advance mankind, that how it is used depends on us. Hmm. I don't remember. Perhaps. All right, yes. That was a pet phrase of mine. And that should give you a notion of how sick Yo, Mantra and plays games, thanks for the Prime Gaming. Welcome the to the Garden Sprout. No so many new subs today, thank you guys That's so much. Why I decided to remain behind, rather than jump. Okay, you're speaking a lot. You may have had your disagreements with my grandfather, but upon that point, your minds were as one. With respect, Master, the fruits of your research should not be left to spoil. Will you share with us the secrets of the etheric conversion? All talk and no trousers. Is that what she was just about to say? Did I skip that? I, I will. All the information you need is contained in a tome I wrote on the subject. But you'll have to fetch it from the forbidden section of the great library. She just said it. <laughs> You just weren't listening? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm like, uh, reading fucking you. Get out of my face, Chad. I'm over here trying to fucking do my thing. Yo, AI hey, cry when I cry when I fart. That's a fucking great name, dude. Thanks for the tier one sub. Welcome to the garden spout. Don't do that. I'm fucking trying. Oh, you were not exaggerating when you said that you had sealed it away. Though the city is abandoned, the library's guardians are all but certain to remain. We must needs cut a path through them. Come, let us away. You're missing Not details, so though? Fast, you lot. It's fine. Stoller and the boy are staying with me. Oh? I need help to make new sentinels to replace the old ones you walloped. They'll be bored and lodging, don't you worry. But know that you'll have to work for them. Hard. I'll have no sluggards in my house. What's your favorite race so far? The Alligans. Oh, the Great Library's Guardian shouldn't pose any difficulty for a hero like you. You'll hardly notice Stola's absence, and the girl, boy, whatever, would only get in your way. But if it turns out you aren't up to the task, well, then I'll know you can't be trusted with something as dangerous as an etheric ram. Now, the library's entrance is locked, right? Locked tight. 
I'll loan you one of my servants to open it, the broom yonder. Well, what are you waiting for? Introduce yourself. I... Hi, we spoke before? Hello. Great Gabool Library. The Great Gabool. We're gonna go to the Great Gabool Library. How cool would it be if Alligans could be a playable race? They're just way too big. I think that also kind of take out take out the uh, you know mystery for me. You know, I think sometimes the. Hello, everyone. Medicinal herbs. The Gaga got the Gabagool Library where they archive salami. <laughs> Granny needs her herbs. <laughs> I'll be coming back, right? Yeah, yeah. I can just go and say, hey, an ether current. All right, world. <laughs> what are they? Never mind. Polyrath, chill the fuck out. Can't wait to tell to sell skooma and. I can't wait to sell skooma and Ulta when the hearth cars come. I don't want to go to see the gray beards. No. Last time you sent me there, they wanted me to strip down and stand in the snow until I learned my lesson. Don't make me do it. Kill all the politos. I used to be an adventurer like you. And I took an arrow to the. <laughs> Dum bum 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 Then I take an arrow to the knee. There's a there's a uh, there's a video where I can't remember the context of the video, but he's he's just saying, and then I take an arrow to the knee. And when he's about to say knee, he gets like punched in the face by someone, or he gets killed or something. It's like a, a little animated short. I hate to start following you. Saw you're a great lore guy. Thanks. I just wanted to ask if you plan on doing lore videos. <clears throat> I would like to eventually. I just learned about you uh, about a week ago. I've been playing 14 for a few years now and I skipped because I was done with the start. A lot of people do. Watched a lot of your YouTube videos last night and started following on Twitch. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Fried. I would like to do videos eventually. I'm, I'm just not comfortable enough yet to do it. I skipped because I was a gamer. Yeah, I mean, some people do skip because they're fucking gamers, dude. Some people, they just sit down and when they play a game, they're fucking, they're just trying to game, dude. Yeah, yeah. If it's in your mind, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yo, Evil Intent, thank you so much for the, or Evelyn, Evelyn Tint, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Welcome to the Garden Sprout. This is a, is a dungeon, isn't it? Oh, it is. Yeah. You are fucking spooky. Knock that off. You stand before the Great Gabool Library. Great Gabool Library. Gabal. One of Heidelin's foremost repositories of knowledge. Alas, it is- This is my place, dude. Let me in. Alas, it has fallen into disuse since the exodus some summer since. 
In all those years, its halls have, been, have welcomed not the coming of a single soul. Its floors felt not the loving brush of a broom. Mine apologies, madam. Pray pay no mind to the dreams of a humble broom. You're doubtless eager to venture within and retrieve my lady's tome. I shall unlock the door at once. When you have what you need, pray return to the cave and report to my lady. Gabagool! Well, did you get to come? I'll bring you an Arya, but if I bring you and uh, Lumino every time, then I only get to bring one other person, and that sucks. Here we go. The Great Google Library. We're gaballing it. Look for books on the floor. Yes, sir. Yo, Admirable Gre Admiral Green, two months with the tier one. Thank you very much. And then also Taiki JP, coming in with another ten gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice of you. That's twenty today. Just that. Just from what I've seen. Crazy, crazy. Yo, Morghaven gifting 10 subs. What the fuck? Yo, this is like a jammer right here. of Phantasmagoria. Reading room. Holy fucking shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Dude. Oh my god, that's a lot of books. Oh my god. That is fucking awesome. I mean, they worship the literal god of knowledge. Uh, don't forget about Enochian and Fire 4 and, and Blizzard 4. I don't think I can... I'm level 59. I'm synced to 59. I can't use them.
Whoops. Rise of the Garlean Empire in the year 1522, the sixth astral era led to significant changes in the structure of Garlean society. Yo, Asha Montrol. Asha Montrol? Asha, I don't know how to fucking say that. Thanks for the tier one sub and welcome to the garden, Sprout. Good note to music, yes it is. Chris. Chrissy, the support, thank you so much for the prime. Welcome, thank you guys. information was compiled with the aid of informants within the Empire and has yet to be verified. Oh, shit. Royalty Zoss. Remember the royal family, no claim to the throne.
Oh my fucking god. Hope you guys have shit to do and, and look at and listen. Yo, Black Alchemist, thanks for gifting 10 subs to the channel. Holy cow! Thank you. Argonaut, uh, thank you for the tier 1 as well. Thanks for subbing.
Yo, thanks for the 100 bits. Hope you're enjoying uh, being a full-time streamer. I am very much. I'm very lucky. Thank you guys so much for, for this opportunity. Honestly. Why not come back in explorer mode? Um, because I don't want to do that. You can do a dungeon on explorer mode to look at lore without a time limit. Guys, we have an hour and 15 minutes. That was a lot. That was good to know, though. I've been needing that for a fucking while. Zossier, we're okay. Okay. All right. Let's move on. That was just one room. Oh my god, we've gone through three of these. Tribunus Plebis. Tribunus Plebis. It's you. <laughs> Just kidding. That's Chad, yeah. Are you shitting me? unknown.
This hierarchy extends to the general populace as well, though it is far less complex. The majority of citizens bear the boss title. Boss, easy. And there's a smaller group which appears to be comprised of respected artisans who have adopted the, the title Sen. The On title is bestowed upon the people of annexed territories and indicates they lack even the most basic rights afforded to a citizen. However, many Garlands view this as an opportunity rather than a condemnation. A citizenship may be granted to those who... Hold on. Demonstrated ex exceptional skills, as well as those who have contributed 20 or more years of military service. Damn. You have to go 20 years in their military before they'll even consider you a citizen? Service guarantees citizenship. Yo, hold on, let me catch up real quick. Uh, Al Kajura, thank you so much for the Prime seven minutes ago. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Prentol, thank you for the Prime six minutes ago. Sorry for missing those guys. Anonymous, tip three bucks. Remember, Pyro, you asked for this. You wanted in-game lore, now choke on it. <laughs> thanks for the tip. Cash up, bro, thanks for the Prime. Thank you. Hey, is the, uh, is the tip thing coming up when people are tipping? Is it coming up properly? Are you guys seeing it when it's, when it's being done? Yes? No? Yes, just no text-to-speech. Not really watching? I'm not really watching either. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. Just pay attention next time, I guess. I'll try as well. What? In the fuck? Is that? that again. Interesting. 
This is a really creative little fight. Oh, bullshit. That's annoying. Dude, Black Mage is so fucking sick, dude. I can't wait till they take an Enochian off the bar and literally by just playing my class with my brain turned on, I'll, I'll always have it up. I can't, oh, I can't wait, dude. I can't wait. I can't wait. This class is so fucking sick. And I'm not even at the good part. I'm not even at the fucking good part yet. INCREDIBLY! Disclosure? That's so rude of you not to disclose your, your intentions. I guess it's getting full disclosure. That's a really interesting little fight, dude. I I genuinely like that. That was nice. Like just a really creative uh, use of movement. Like making the floor ice and having the rotating book, like actually a creative fight, dude. I like that. We're level 62 now, by the way. Ding 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 ding. Ding 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 ding. ding. Between the lines, move instantly to ley lines drawn by you. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I know what I'm gonna bang that to. Ley lines for two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. leveling black mage I'm actually <laughs> no I am a white mage Why has it got to be white? Yo! You right? Making sure we didn't miss anything. <laughs> oh shit!
Yo, Anyakawa. Thanks for the prime, Kesha bro. Thanks for the prime. Bashiel, thank you for tipping $5. Yeah, Ghost Pepper 100 bits. Oh my god, it's the Ghost Redcon. Wow, Lord. Wow, Lord. Huh. Siridan, thanks for tipping $5. I'm tipping at 8 11 p.m. Eastern. Because I can. Well, thanks. I'm weak. I have weakness. No. <laughs> I just Umbral Ice flared that. <laughs> Shalane Custodian's Gloves. Book time. Gabagooey. Essences and Permutations. Chapter 6. The Six Nativities and Myriad Creation The spark of lightning ignites when it strikes, and thus fire is born. Okay. Uh, Darthman and the Darkman. Thank you both for subbing. One with the Prime, one with a Tier 2. Darkman, for four months, congrats. Holy crap. Thank you. A Tier 2.
the moistness of water. Yo, Gracata, thank you so much for the Prime. Two months enjoying your Final Fantasy XIV uh, journey and love of lore. Thank you. I'm glad to see you on Mog Talk with Moose again last week. It was so much fun, dude. I love hanging out with those guys. They're, they're a lot of fun. Sly Fox subscribing with a tier one. Welcome to the Garden Sprout. I really appreciate you all subbing. Following, coming and hanging out. How many more fucking books are there in this place?
Okay, next one, let's go! Yo, Sly Fox, thanks for the tier one. I think I might have said that already, but whatever. Doesn't hurt to make sure. Though there is some debate as to whether or not Mel Melvin Blofischman and her colleague of Lost Bastards were the first Eorzeans to discover the Western continent, there's no denying that their navigational charts were instrumental in establishing the major trade routes of today. Moreover, the accounts from their expedition are widely regarded as both informative and entertaining. A particular note is their first encounter with Mammal Ja, as well as other indigenous peoples and creatures which seemed curiously intent on their demise. These travel journals have since inspired a legion of explorers and treasure hunters to retrace the League's journey, yet, in spite of their numbers, the existence of a, a bleeding city of gold remains unconfirmed. Nice. The book about Merlewood. El Dorado. I, that's one of my favorite movies of all time, dude. The Road to El Dorado. That's my shit. That movie has such, dude, that movie has insanely provocative sexual references in it. It's so funny, dude. There's a part where Tulio and the Mayan girl are like upstairs in one of the, what the fuck is that? Biblos? Oh, it's, come, it's out of a book. Okay, here we go. Zone name, by the way. Astrology and Astromancy Camera. Oh, that's interesting. Are they bringing the things in the books to life with this big, uh... It's Astromancy? They're bringing the... the sh what? They channeling some kind of power to like bring the shit to life. Oh, page sixty-four. Oh my god. Death ray? Jesus. That's the implication. Me out of my ley lines.
дальше. I am undone, but my master's seal is broken. My master's seal is broken. Hmm, maybe things were trapped in these books. Maybe instead of bringing the books to life, they're letting things out that were trapped inside of them. Hmm. I have no idea. I'm just making shit up. Hey, bro, I hope you're having a good evening. I am. I'm having a great fucking time. We're hanging out. Familiars, you could be right. You never know. Thanks for the streams. They're fun to watch. Thanks, Wild Mary. Will the Mary? Wild Mary? Thanks for uh, hanging out, being a part of them. <laughs> if it were rich, he'd spend two hours thinking about it. I don't know why I'm just spamming thunder. School of Fantastics. Hall of Magics. Aetherology End. Convocation House, Natural History Room, Astrology and Astromancy Camera. Okay. Votariga Vot Bibliocast? Oh my god. What the fuck? These books are chained in. Oh yeah, they are. What the fuck? Logos? There's Void Scent here, too. Mm. Yeah, I see that. Isn't Logos Latin for logic anyway? Isn't is it like Logos, Pathos? They're like uh, major literary uh, analysis tools. Ethos, thank you. Greek? Yeah, I guess they're not Latin. Yeah, yeah. Leatherbound Diary, nice. This is the last one? Cool, cool. Beauty is ephemeral, but it needn't be. My lady Am Amandine uh, knows this well. Lovely creature that she is. Would that I could have the genuine article in my keeping, but alas, I shall have to settle for a pale imitation. The vessel's not quite up to my usual standards, but beggars can't be choosers, as they say. I washed and anointed it per the instructions, then secured it to the bed with chains. Wouldn't want her to get ideas above her station. <laughs> oh no. God, it's just the thought of it is enough to get my blood pumping. 
I can hardly wait to welcome my beloved succubus into this world. Lady Amand Am Amandine. Is she, was she in Hawk, Hawk, Hawk Manor? Wasn't she the final boss of that place? Yikes. So this is the person talking about summoning them. Ooh. It's a diary though. Did they learn how to do it from some, I don't know. Okay, let's keep going. Calling the boy sent fail. Horny man doomed himself to get some. Is that a boss? Oh no. You say that's kind of a small boy. Yeah, I saw the other diary going. What the fuck? The fuck is that thing? Rhapsody's quadra quadrangle? Forbidden. Quadrangle? What? Okay. The tentacles! So many tentacles! And the sound of it writhing on the bed! Gods! Just listening to it is agony! I've made a terrible mistake. God, he summoned a. He summoned a fucking old god. It's Facebook. No wonder they have this section in chains. Yeah. Meanwhile, wow, here's a fruit basket. How does that mechanic work? Will we... Oh, do we just light them all up? I don't understand. That thing being right on top of it did not help, but you don't need to stand in it. Yeah, I thought I thought it was gonna be like uh, stay in it until he uses the ability kind of thing. Uh, evidently, that was not the case. have to be different people? I don't understand. Oh, Christ. Great! Two people at once.
Can I listen? I need mana so bad. I'm the worst one. Taylor, just don't be greedy, you fucking stupid black mage fuck. God damn it. I'm trying to AM to people that are 60 yards away and shit, I'm like, I'm not gonna move. Facebook defeat. Thanks for the run, guys. That was that was fun. It only took an hour. <laughs> if only you guys would be just faster, it'd be great. We could get through dungeons way faster if my fucking party just wasn't so bad. You know? Oh, what the fuck? Water. Duh. I think I might have a whip right once you pop. I do have that. Thank you, though. It's very nice of you. Nine more quests to the end of 3-0. Damn. <laughs> Deliver the Tome to Matoya. All right, we can do that. Blood red die. Thanks. I don't think I have any of those. Thank you. Any better games than this? Uh, 
Depending on who you ask, I'm sure there's plenty of games that are better than this one. Uh, pretty nice deep colors. Yeah. Those guys are pretty good. Yeah. Any games? Mod check. Cockatrice is here. Cockatrice, cockatrice. Oh, she's over there. What am I doing? That's not the right cave. It's pretty shameful showing that much bare ass. <laughs> nice. I see what you did there. Hello, everyone. the tome, yes. You have the tome, yes? Then hurry and show it to Matoya that I might be free of her stifling attention. At the stadium, I had the good fortune to be tutored by some of the finest scholars in Chalayan. I can safely say, however, that Master Matoya exceeds them all. How oh, I should have liked to listen to her arguing with my grandfather. Let me get up on subs here. I shoot lasers. Thanks so much for the Tier one for three months. Glad to see you still here on FF. I fucking love it, dude. I'm having a great time. Uh, can't wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, and Walker. I can't wait, dude. I can't wait. I can't wait for all of it. Uh, Nalem's 33 month resub. That's a big one. Thank you very much. And code CHL with a tier one also. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the Garden Sprouts. I take it you found the tome as well. Or the, uh, the, blah, blah, blah. I take it you found the tome. Well, let's see it then. Aye, right, this is it, all right. Stola. Boy. Put down whatever you're doing and come here. Pyro's returned with the tome. You're motherfucking right. Thank the gods, but another minute under Master Mato Matoya's exacting supervision. And I would have certainly lost my mind, or may have nearly my temper. Some things never change, indeed. Well, I for one appreciate the exacting supervision. In the short while we've been here, I feel I've gained a far better understanding of arcane entities than I did during my time to, during my time at the st at the studium. Studium. Should the opportunity present itself, I should very much like to employ this knowledge for the betterment of mankind. Create a new variety of carbuncle, perhaps. Don't get too ahead of yourself, boy. Louis Swaz's grandson or no, it'll take another decade under me before you can call yourself a scholar. And a deal more than that to make you a scholar worth a damn. Da okay. 
As you may have gathered, Master Matoya is not easily impressed. Indeed. <clears throat> so, uh, Pyra has returned with the tome, has she not? Shall we examine it? I had not thought to behold this tome again. Sparky Magus, thank you so much for the three months. I appreciate that. Yeah, we got your tome. What's up, girl? What the fuck are you doing? Whoa. There. It is deciphered. Mm. Now your friends nice. should be able to make sense of the contents. That said, is one thing to understand the workings of the etheric converger, and another to actually make it work. You do realize how much ether is required. Sid is keenly aware of the energy dilemma. His airship is by no means large, and it can only bear a limited quantity of crystals. <laughs> That's their version the of Google Translate. White orosite in the etheric siphon. Alas. Minfilia is missing along with both artifacts, and Moonbreeder is gone. Would that there were another ready wellspring of energy for us to draw upon. <gasps> Why did it not occur to us before? We already have what we need! The Eye! It has been drawing ether into itself for as long as the Great Worms have lived! It is a veritable wellspring of energy! Hmm. It might just suit our needs. But is this energy Hog something fucking that idea. can be harnessed at will? Giga brain. I believe so. With the aid of the Azure Dragoon of Ishgard. Then it is settled. Let us return to the Holy See at once. God damn you, Shola. You thick. Let's get out of here. The eye, you mean Astinian show and tell item 11 weeks in a row? <laughs> I don't know. Last time Alfie had a good idea, you got chased out of Ulda. Thicker than a snicker, dude. When did the light fade from your eyes? Oh, there it is. I might have known that it would not escape your notice. It has been this way since I returned from the live stream. An after effect of the teleportation magic I invoked. Oh, most so she's right. fully aware of it. They are called forbidden spells for a reason. What were you thinking, girl? I have no regrets. I but did what was necessary to preserve the light of hope, to keep my promise to Minfilia. Hmm. Besides, it afforded me the rare opportunity to wander the ether, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I bet. I need not tell you that it consumes your very life force to see by sensing the ether around you. Take care of yourself. Do you hear me? What? To see by sensing the ether around you. So she is blind. Damn. Oh my god, you know who she is? She's Illidan. Oh, you guys are already saying that. Yeah, she's Illidan.
Damn. I will, Master Matoya. And thank you. That just adds a lot of depth to like who Yastola is as a person and how she's, you know, she's willing to make those kinds of sacrifices and get a little crazy to, to try to, uh, to try to keep everybody else safe. I don't know. As if you could conceal it from her of all people. Hmm? Pay me no mind. I was but thinking aloud. Thanks to your customarily heroic efforts, we now possess the knowledge to build an etheric ram. All that remains is to secure its energy source. Let us hasten back to Ishgard and consult Sir Amaric regarding the eye. Okay. Well, that's a dead blue mage. <laughs> this is one of those things the writer tells you, the player, but not your character. A blue in their natural state. Dead on the fucking floor. Dead on arrival. Same blue. Same self-destruct. Same corpse. But that's not a dragoon. <laughs> uh. Hello, Sir Amaric. Ah, ah, you are returned. Sir Amaric, I'm pleased to see that your recovery proceeds apace. May I, may I introduce Yishtola, a fellow scion of the Seventh Dawn and Archon of Charleian. My lord, pray excuse me for forgoing due pleasantries, but we seek your counsel regarding the etheric ram. That we now possess the knowledge to build such a device, we yet, yak, we yet lack the appropriate source of energy with which to power it. We believe, however, that Ishgard may possess the solution to our problem. You need not apologize, my lady. Full eager am I to learn of your progress. Please, tell me more of this energy source that you believe we possess. Yes, sir! Oh, yes, sir! And you are certain that the eye can lend its power to Master Mat Matoya's etheric converger. At Justinian's command? Yes. Very well. I shall speak with him. My thanks, Sir Amaric. Nay, my friend, tis I who should thank you, as should every Ishgardian. You labor in our name, with nary a care for your own safety. Let us speak with Sid. He will doubtless be eager to begin work on the etheric ram. I have that map. Kind of. Lucia, I'm glad to s I'm glad that you and yours are safe. I shall personally re personally relay your proposal to Astinian. If that which you ask is possible, you may be assured of his cooperation. My thanks again, Pyro. Thanks. Anatheum Astrologicum.
Mine's bigger though. <gasps> Mine's fucking way bigger though. I am fucking. It is literally fucking huge, dude. All right, here we are. What do you think? Looks like a different ship, doesn't she? Kind of does. A bit of sleep deprivation won't kill me, I suppose. But if it does, well, then I'll have all the sleep I want. And the joke will be on pigs. <laughs> Not for Sean. Most folk know Master Garland as a genius inventor. It's only when you come to work for him that you realize he's a god's damn Tyrant Taskmaster! Just, uh, don't tell him I said that. Alright. <laughs> Someone needs a drink. <laughs> no shit. You're literally in front of the man. I know, he's literally r two feet away from him yelling. Ah, you're back. The preliminary work on the Enterprise is more or less finished. Tell me you found a way to build the etheric ram. Greetings, Sid. It has been a while. This tome contains the fruits of my former master's research on a device known as an etheric converger. A ram should operate of the, on the self-same principle. Ugh, where are my manners? Put a toy like this in my hand and I go off into my own world. <laughs> Gods, it's good to see you. Bearing a gift besides, a very distracting one if I might add. If I didn't know better, I'd think it was my name day. But there will be time for, for tearful reunions later. I'll make a start on the tome right away. So long as I have a grasp of the fundamentals, I should be able to knock something together. Which leaves the small matter of the energy source. We believe we have found a solution to that problem as well. Did someone say name day? Hmm. Pray forgive our lateness. The power of the eye is not to be drawn upon lightly. But I believe we have sufficient cause to do so. So this is the fabled eye. By the twelve, it seethes. It is a wonder such power can be obtained, much less controlled. Boys, our friends have kindly provided all the ingredients. Let's see if we can make something out of them. He still hasn't showered. <laughs> He's, uh, you are the chief. Ah, uh, you are the chief. We're not resting until the etheric ram is operational. Not one wink asleep. Chocobo. I show you my eye of Nidhogg, please respond. I show you the eye of Prina, we shall respond. Yo ho. Nice lighting over there. I dig it. I dig it. Amaric, speak with me. It goes without saying that the Temple Knights will bear the costs for all work on the Enterprise. Would that we could contribute more to the cause. Azure wings to bear us to the final battle. I must admit, there is poetry to it. I know not of the Archbishop and his knights save that which you have told me, but if they truly possess the power of primals and the secrets of Azizla, they are dangerous foes indeed. We must spare no preparation. The old Pyromancer bods are gone. I mean, you gotta, I mean, you gotta watch, you gotta just, you gotta be live, bro. You gotta show up live. <laughs> Thank you very much, Luciano Juno. I, I try to voice as much as I can. I don't know if you guys can tell, I, I quite enjoy it. It can be kind of tiring, but I think it 
it helps me to establish a better connection with the character because in a in a sense I kind of get to be the character. I kind of get to live in their emotions for some dialogue and I think it's very fun. Uh I get to really kind of put myself in their shoes and 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 try to emulate that. Um so I think it de it helps me develop a better connection with the characters. Thankfully in this game it's done very it's done well. The dialogue is written well enough that it allows me to really do it with character and remember uh, the certain tendencies of characters when they speak. Uh, which is something that is extremely difficult to do, but it just takes time so that you can, so that I can do literally four different British accents. Four different ones. Ishtola, Estinian, Amaric, and Alphano all have those accents and they're all different. And um, so, it gives me the opportunity to really listen, or try anyway, to listen to the nuances of a character's voice and try to be able to e emulate that. And it, that for me is fun, and it's challenging, and that's part of why it's fun. So, uh, yeah. Given the danger of the task that lies before us, I think it's only right that we take a moment to bid our friends and allies farewell. Alas, Sid requires my assistance with Master Matoy Matoya's rather singular writings. Might I entrust the task of visiting those who re will remain behind to you? I suppose. So the hour is nigh. Would that I could join you in the coming battle. But with my wounds, I fear I would only be a burden to you. In consorting with the Asians and availing himself of primal powers, my father made himself an, an enemy of all that is good and right in the world. In the world. Do whatever you must to end his madness. May the fury watch over you. Light be with you, Illidan Stormrage. Hmm. Okay, someone put it in sub mode. Okay, I got it. Alright, mods, get to work. Get to work. There we go. <sighs> Careful, you removed a ban on somebody. Pretty sure this guy here, Tylonius. This guy here, Tylonius, Wallaporic Tigge, pretty sure that was one of them. Uh, let me ban him again. Oh, you already got it. Thank you, thank you, man. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, I go to the bathroom and uh, when bot. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about it, guys. Library girl Alexandria, thanks so much for the tier one sub and welcome to the garden sprout. Enjoy your time here. Here, yeah, the thing is, uh, the thing, the cool thing about it is, is that we have so many fucking subs that the chat's basically the same when we put it in sub mode. And the fucking awesome thing is that uh, all those accounts are not, all those accounts are banned. So easy, 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 easy. Okay, uh, is that it? No. Where am I to go? Night's most. Oh, I have several spots. Garden sprout tip ten dollars. Your shader completely changed the game for me and breath, uh, breathed fresh life into it. Fresh new life into it. I can't believe what a difference it makes. Thank you for all the comfy streams, too. Can't wait to see you get to 5-0. Thanks so much. Really, thank you very much. I, I'm very happy to hear that. I'm uh, I'm a personally, I mean, of course, I'm personally a, a big fan of my G-Shade. And really all it is, if you look at it, is it is color. Right, it's saturation, but but it's tasteful. We're just bringing vibrance to the colors of the games. We're bringing a little bit of bloom on surfaces that project light, just to give it a little bit more of that fantasy pop. 
and then we're adding in some depth of field. And the depth of field is really part of what people love about it so much, even if they don't realize that's why they like it. Depth of field is very important because it imitates a, fun, a phenomenon that happens every single time the human eye focuses on an object, especially objects that are close to you. So for instance, when you have something like this right in front of you and you focus on the microphone, it is very clear and inherently everything behind it is blurry. That's called depth of field and humans have a natural depth of field to their eyes. What games tend to do is they don't incorporate depth of field, which is weird for, how, for us when we look at it because things naturally have depth of field. You can't focus on something right in front of you and simultaneously focus on something 10 feet away from you. It's impossible. It is not possible. So in this game, when you zoom in and you have no change to the depth of field, and this goes for any game, it's not as, it's not as the eye would treat the trick, and that is what it should look like. It wouldn't, if, if I were standing right behind this person and looking at the back of their head like this, I wouldn't have any of this in focus. That's why depth of field is so important because it mimics the natural phenomenon that the eye has, that cameras based on the lens and settings which are being used may not actually emulate very well. So anyway, that's part of why the G shade is, that's why so many people like the G shade. Uh, and again, that is, uh, that's depth of field, DOF. Pretty basic, uh, uh, photography technique. It's why a lot of people pay for expensive lenses that have sh more shallow depths of field, but they also require bigger pieces of glass and they're more expensive to manufacture, so. That's why, p that's why when you see people, that's literally the exact reason why portrait mode exists on your phone. Let me think about that. Portrait mode exists because it's quite literally mimicking the phenomenon of the human eye. Uh, Katsuro Sumi, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming. Saikon, thank you for the Prime as well. Your star friend, uh, <laughs> your star friend, uh, Elend Elendil, thank you so much for the tier one and welcome to the Garden Sprout. Regal Nine Rabbit with the Prime, so many new subs just now. That's one, two, three, four, f that was five new subs in just a few minutes. Welcome everybody, thank you. Not necessarily. The low f-stop prime lenses are only around 100 bucks for a 50 millimeter. Um, no, they are most fucking certainly not. No, they're not. Low f-stop prime 50s. What, like an f2, f4? Those are like th those are hugely expensive lenses. I bought an f12 uh, 50 mil, and it was like a two thousand dollar lens. You have three 1.8s? Yeah, if you're talking about a 1.8, a 1.8 isn't, uh, I mean, it's it's low, but it's not, we're not talking like a 1.2, 1.4. Yeah, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I, when you say low f-stop, that's what I think of. But then again, if you're comparing like a 1.8 to like a 4.3 or a 5.6, obviously, or a 6.3, obviously that's a lower, yeah, I mean, we're, that's a m much. My, fir my first portrait of, uh, lens was a 50 millimeter 1.8 from Nikon. So yeah, if you're talking about those, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those kinds of lenses, yes. If we're talking about a 50 mil, sure. If you want to get like a wide angle, like a 24 mil or uh, even a 35 mil, those are going to be more expensive though. This is it then. Go well, my friend. I shall pray to the fury for your preservation. Hmm. Mayhap you think it strange that a daughter of Gollum ought to pray? I do not blame you. I used to think it passing strange myself. But all that changed when I discovered something dearer to me than mine own life. Thereafter, praying seemed the most natural thing in the world. Prayers are born of heart heartfelt faith. In manipulating the people's beliefs for his own twisted ends, the Archbishop makes a mockery of their very existence. It cannot be born. Mm. Alright, we gotta get out of here. That's not the door. That is the door. I just have to talk to this dumb fuck. No, that isn't the door. That's the door. Yo, your boy Faye! Coming in with a prime. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. And Crow Skyler. Oh my gosh. All these new subs. All these new subs. Thank you so much. Hey, at 6,000 subs, which we're 150 subs away from, uh... We will unlock, uh, we'll do a, we'll do a, uh, a glamour contest. And, uh, there'll be a little, maybe a little gill prize or something. Uh, St 
uh, 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 we're 130 subs away from because Stevie just just is like, yeah, you know what, dude? I don't think I don't think, I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that. 150 subs? No, no, no. How about 130? I think that sounds better. Thank you, Stevie. You're insane. What the fuck? So you're off to face the arch. So you're off to face the archbishop then. Please be careful. Watch over the others, will you? And Shadedale, he's like, you know what, dude? 130 is not even good enough. I was really thinking more like 110. And that's just kind of the way that we do it around here. They're, you know, they're like, you know what? 150, 130, 100, you know. We're just going to take it up another notch. Because both Stevie and Shade are fucking insane. They're going huge right now. Just literally sending it. Because apparently they want a fucking transmog competition. They want a glamour competition. Yo, Nix Clicks. That's a fucking cool name. Thanks for the prime. I really do appreciate that. Welcome to the Garden Sprout. First off, hey, by the way, congratulations to, to anybody who was just gifted a sub. Well done. Well done. Good. You have great luck, and that's well done. To everybody that did get one, hey, easy clap dodges, dude. Easy. It, wait, it's sub mode. Just kidding. You guys can't speak. <laughs> Whoops. That's awkward. Well, at least 40 more of you can speak now. Isn't that cool, though? 40 more people just got the ability to speak. That's like, that's like a whole 2% of the stream. That's crazy. That's actually kind of that's kind of actually insane. So you're off to face the archbishop. Okay, I am. We've lost too many friends as it is. Some may yet return to us, but I couldn't bear to lose anyone else. I just couldn't. I realize it's asking a lot, but you're the strongest person I know. And I don't think there's anything you can't achieve if you put your mind to it. So, please, whatever else happens, keep everyone safe. I will. I will talk to you, I promise. You know it's fucking, oh my god. Yo, Shade Dale's just like, you know what, 110. Not good enough, not good enough, fuck it. Yeah, let's go down to 100. And then Jetter Bobby's like, no, 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 no. We gotta double team this, down to 90. Another 20 off the fucking board. Holy shit, Sailor Dabs comes in with five, that's 25, and Photon rising up to 26. And then followed by Stevie coming in with another 10, that's 36. Oh my god. Nice fucking job. You guys are insane. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I do to deserve you. Black Alchemist gifting five subs to the channel. Anonymous coming up with another. F another 10 gifted subs. Literal in Captain Insano. 6K is not instant Lala. No, sir. 6K is a fucking. Well, we're going to be at 6K. So Carnage Reflux coming up with 10 gifted tier one subs. Surreal gifting five subs. Hey, guys, it's September. And let me remind you of something. September is oh, it goes away in six days. So if you want to contribute and you want to get a 20% discount on the subs that, that you guys are gifting, like all these people here, thank you so, so much for that. Now in September, September as they call it, is the time to do that. So uh, thank you all so much for contributing. I'm getting literally exploded on... Everything, everything, hey, it's exploding. Okay, cool. Okay, 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 okay. Such devastation. This was not my intention. Okay. Okay, okay. So, um, let me just, uh, so let me just, so, hold on. So Anonymous gifted 10, and then Carnage Reflux did 10, and then Surreal did five more, and then Shade Dale did 50. What? Guys, guys, okay. Uh, Shade Dale did 50. Anonymous, I can't believe that. Anonymous did another 20. Admiral Green just did 50 subs. Moderately Floats, 10 subs. And Stevie, on top of the other subs, 50 more subs, dude. And Nyx clicks with 10 more subs. This is... That was a lot of subs. That was a lot. You guys not only just pushed us too, you literally fucking crushed the goal. You literally just doubled what we needed to do to get there. Okay, so that's gonna be... Okay, so that's... We're gonna do... How about this? How about... How about tomorrow? How about... How about this? Since we hit the 6k sub goal, tomorrow, part of tomorrow's stream will include a glamour contest. How about that? How about maybe the prize? I don't know, it's a weak prize, but maybe the prize will be like 1 million gil. Or, may or maybe we can do a prize pool where if people want to contribute to the prize pool, whoever wins the glamour competition gets the prize pool. Or maybe we do like a top three or something. That'd be fun. Don't you guys think? Yes, this is Dirk. Yo, thanks for the prime, Dirk. Dirk Nowit Nowitzki. Gonna hit me with that fucking, hit me with that fucking Dirk fucking. Step back. 
Instant Lala? No, 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 no. Instant Lala is is not. Instant Lala is probably. Okay, you mean for the next sub goal? A pot prize sounds good. Okay, what the fuck? Kotaksu gifting 10 subs to the channel. Holy shit, thank you very much. And Varus coming in with five gifted subs as well. Let me show you guys the fruits of your labor. This is what we're able to accomplish because of you. I just want you guys to be aware of like, this is what you're funding when you, when you guys are just go insane like this. Like, you're li you, like, <laughs> you're literally funding my ability to live like the fucking dream. And thank you very, very much for that. And, you know, part of, <laughs> part of uh, some of these goals that we've set you know, was a was a, a hot wing fund, <laughs> and I got the hot wings. If you, I've I've showed it. Do you want to see? <laughs> uh, here's the hot wings. Okay, now don't. Shh. But this is this is the kind of thing that your guys's insane continued support has made possible. And it's very special. So thank you all very much for for making for making this uh, possible. So this is the the hot wings. And uh, yeah. It's the hottest wing, and it was certainly not cheap, and it is not possible without you guys. This, it was not, not possible without you guys, so thank you so much. I can't, I can't wait, I can't, I can't wait to give it to her, dude. I can't wait. So, <laughs> I'm gonna try to have it photographed maybe by like a shadow photographer you can hire people to do like paparazzi style photography where you don't even really know that they're there but they they get it you know what i mean so yeah. look at you guys i can't even look at this this is insane look at like look we just like Surreal, five gifted subs. The Vagrancy gifting three tier one subs. Holy Drifter coming in with their own prime sub. Mika Mad Kitty gifting five subs to the channel. Hold on a second. Uh. 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 Apple Boosh gifted ten subs to the channel. Thank you. Um. Drunk. Drunken Bigfoot, a tier one. Thank you so much. Casper gifting five subs. Thank you. Kataksu gifting ten subs. Ink Sheep gifting twenty subs. Oh my god. Kataksu, that's ten more subs. Drug Voltron with a prime. Phantom O Ghost uh, gifting 10 subs. Thank you so much, Phantom. And D1's. Dis oh, it's Disco Monkey. Disco Monkey, thank you for the tier one as well. Instant Lalafell is 7,500 subs. So just. Okay, let me change the goal. Let me change the goal. I know, yeah, guys, please. Don't. Sp no, 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 I won't spoil. Couldn't go to a better dude. Stop. 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 Shift gifting 10 fucking subs. Or, sorry, 5 subs. Taiki, Taiki JP gifting 10 more subs. You just fucking did 20 earlier. You did 20 earlier, you fucking psycho. What is happening? Shade Dale gifting 5 more. What is... What is... Are you just... I, stream, can you... Listen. You're stalling me, okay? You're stalling me. You... Merudman just gifted 50. 50! 50! 50! 50 more! What? And Hot and Toasty with 10! 
Hot and toasty with 10. What the fuck is happening? What is happening? Okay, 7,500 for instant Lala. That's where we're at. Shine, she and Kiri, thank you for gifting five subs to the channel. And Serenata. Oh, Serenata, that's a fucking beautiful word. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for gifting five subs to the channel as well. Didn't Essie make a game called Eternal Sonata? Was that Essie that made that game? Yo, Capri, I, Capri, my man, coming in with five. Mercadian with 10. Thank you. Thank you. What is, please, like, Namco, was that Bandai Namco? Okay. Tacitus! Tacitus with 10! I have to put this away. I can't. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you all! <laughs> um, oh my god, and Mystic Mist. Mystic Mist with 10 gifted subs, dude. Thank you, guys. There, that was nuts. That was fucking nuts. And you know what's crazy? Yo, Surreal, thank you for gifting five more, man. I can't do any more, but I hope it helps. Dude, you just did like fucking 30 subs, didn't you? Didn't you just do like 10 or 20 or you just, I don't even, you did at least 10. You did 20. Dude, that's huge. That's that's insane. That's amazing. Thank you. No, I mean, sh dude, don't get me wrong. Like those of you that I'm so I'm hmm. I am genuinely just very happy that you're all here. Like the su the subs are literally amazing and it's how I pay my bills and it's how I do the things that I do in my life and and so that to to you know, I kind of have to put my trust, like, into myself and into the situation and into all this. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. The whole point that I'm trying to make is thank you. And I want everybody to know that whether you can gift subs or not, whether you can sub yourself or not, doesn't make anybody any more or, or less important of a viewer. Everybody is here for the same reason. Everybody enjoys the the time that they spend here and I am imme immeasurably thankful for all of the people that are here even the ones that can't talk right now because unfortunately of the bots that we were dealing with earlier um, and I know that sometimes people genuinely feel bad that they can't sub and I just want everybody here that may feel that way to know that like with the amazing community that we have, the chance of you getting a sub gifted to you at some point is insanely high. And even if that doesn't happen, you should never, ever, 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 ever feel bad about not being able to to give a streamer money, okay? So I'm, I'm super happy to have everybody here. Thank you all for that insane explosion that just happened that is still kind of like, still kind of existing here. Fluffy Catloaf uh, with a tier one. Uh, Keizu, uh, Keizu Kukami, thank you for gifting five subs to the channel. Soulfire with a tier one for four months. Thank you. Bleach Smoothie. <laughs> a Bleach Smoothie. Nice. Thanks for subbing with a tier one. in Varus 7 gifting five subs to the channel. Thank you. We just went up, um... We just went up, like, 520 subs. Yeah, that's insane. That's insane. That's insane. We just... Yeah, that's fucking nuts. That's fucking nuts. And you know what I think was really... Spe like, don't... Listen, again. Anytime people are contributing in that kind of way, it is fucking nuts. Um, we're gonna do instant la la. Yeah, we'll do 7,500 still. I think that's a good goal. I think tw I think I think that's where we sit that. Um, you know what I think was really crazy about that is that that was so many different people. I think that that's what was so crazy to me about that one. Serial, thank you, and, and and the fact that I mean, literally like four different people did 50 subs. Like I, I, I don't get it. 
I would say that for Shadowbringers, no Lala, please. For Shadowbringers, I'm going to play whatever the fuck I want. I'm going to play whatever the fuck I want. And just so you guys know, if I didn't want to play Lala, I wouldn't do it. I want you to understand that. If I, did, if I wasn't even, like, remotely interested in playing Lala, I would not do it. So, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to be... Uh, don't worry about it. I won't be pressured into, into you know, don't worry about it. I, I appreciate, though, that you guys are kind of looking out for me because I know that, obviously, the whole Lala thing is, like, I don't want to call it a meme, but it's, like, a common uh, trope to the community, right? Like, it is. Uh, there's a lot of people that uh, push for it, and I think it's I think it's hilarious. I think it's a fun way to kind of like, for me, I think, I think honestly, it's a fun way to kind of like, uh, and especially the way that the, I don't know. Anyway, the point is, the point is, if I didn't want to do something, I wouldn't do it. Okay. So don't worry about me being pressured into playing something that I don't want to. I will tell chat to go fuck themselves so fast. It's not even funny. You guys know that. I think bits and donations aren't doing notifications. Uh, Amphigo I see one from Amphigory. Uh, if this makes it past the sub only, you rock. Thank you for the for the 100 bits. Um, as far as uh, bits and donations not having, or tips, they're not donations, tips uh, showing up, they definitely should be. But the... Wait, are, are any of my alerts coming up? Why is nothing on my screen right now? You guys literally broke my shit. You broke my shit. Same, so haven't seen an alert today at all? It must be the full screen scene. No, 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 no. Nope, they all have it. They've all got it. No, it's like not working at all. We only see follows and nothing else? shouldn't no you shouldn't see follows relaunch obs are you out of your mind yeah hell no i'll finish my fucking stream before i fucking turn obs off that's crazy pain and gain thanks for the resubscription for four months thank you welcome to the go oh not not welcome back is what i mean to say nice to have you back thank you and as drummer thanks for gifting a tier one sub to amphigory thank you that was subs i can't read i'm sorry guys i'm trying to get this finished so that i can finish the quest line um but i want you know. It's like the URL doesn't work. Yo, Stevie's still going, dude. Ten more gifted subs, dude. Stevie, what the fuck, man? That's like you're you've gifted 130 subs to the channel. You're insane. And then you gifted one. Yeah, yeah. And Arya Wather coming in with five. There's the chat alert, but not on screen. I yeah, I can't even. Literally can't even. Genestraria. Genestaria, thank you so much for the. Okay. For the tier one sub. Dr. Grizzlick and Bonnie Bonbon for gifting 10 subs to the channel. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck? Thank you. Shade. Uh, guys. Shade Dale. Coming in. My, my face. On my face. I don't know what's happening. You guys have literally shot a splooge rocket all over the place with your gifted subs. And Stevie's gifting 10 more. Stevie's gifting 10 more. Shade and Stevie, they're just going, they're just saying, you know what, dude? They said, you know what, 7,500, we might as well just get the Lala shit taken care of. Fuck it. You won't beat me? Are you guys going back and forth? Is that what's happening? You know what, man? I think you should challenge him. I never egg it on, but you know what? I think you should challenge him. 
I think you should just have a gift war. I'm okay with that. A sub fight's cool. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Here, I, I, I legitimately want to get this fixed, though. I, I, maybe it's something I just do at the end of stream. Fuck, dude. I gotta finish this story. We're way too far. We're way too far. We can't, we can't. Here's the thing. Come on. What is happening? Roxas Miles giving five subs to the channel. Thank you very much, dude. Five more. There's been five from like 70 different people today. It's crazy. My headset is dying. Fuck. Imagine. Imagine not having your headset charged for your fucking stream. Roxas with five more. What the fuck? Gallic. Gallic. Fr Gallic Freer? Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Ten. <laughs> Chat, stop getting. I, I, I said no streamer ever. I'm trying to. What was I looking for? Taylor, come up. Taylor, come up. What are you doing? What did I get up for? Come here, baby. Hey, Clover. Come here. Oh. Oh. Game's done. This is a gift stream now. What the fuck? Serial gifted five more when I stepped away. And then Shade Dale gifted 15 more. Okay. And then Stevie... <coughs> Stevie said, okay. 
We'll just do 20. Okay. Fuck it. Yeah, this is insane. Uh, yeah, I hope he reads that. By the way, if you want to go AFK and not get kicked, you can go into HUD editing mode. Uh, I'm not that worried about it. She gets bigger every stream. I know, she's huge. Siridin coming in with five gifted subs. Thank you very much, sir. Always a pleasure to have you. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Which of you is Shade Dale? Please stop. No, don't don't stop. I'm not gonna. I ain't gonna lie, dude. It's insane. Only stop when you're ready to stop, and only do it if you're ready to do it. You understand? Okay, Shade Dale said. Okay, I'm gonna come back with twenty then. Okay. He said, Nah, I don't think so. Put up a twenty. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys. Okay, Stevie said, ah, we'll, we'll put 10 more. We'll put 10. We'll put 10. We'll throw 10. Thank you guys so much. I, I... I start to feel bad because there's only so many ways that I can say thank you. I genuinely start to... I'm like, damn. I don't know what else to say. You guys are literally just... going nuts. Clover, what are you so upset about? Why are you so upset he's spaghetti? What's wrong? You know, you're just fine in here, right? Lay down on your bed there, sweetie. Good girl. You're a good girl. By the 12! Oh, Gallic Fry! Gallic Freer 50! What? 50! Thank you! Thank you, 50! 50! You're like that! We'll keep the city in one piece, don't you worry. We won't get up to no mischief while you're gone. Not too much, anyway. Thanks. Thank you for 50, dude. That is crazy. Thank you. Thank you to everybody. I don't care if you've gifted one sub or a fucking 150. Thank you. They all add up, dude. Thank you. Clover, Clover, you're so sweet and you're so cute, but Kyle Ironheart coming in with, with five. He's got to chime in there. Oh, 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 oh my God. A hundred, a hundred. Gifted subs from Stevie. Oh, holy shit. Thank you. Thank you. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Oh my god. Reiku, thank you for the prime as well. Why are you, sh are you cold, sweetie? Uh, are you just so cold? Thank you. Thank you. Huh. Thank you. Vas uh, Vaslius, hey, thank you. Thanks for gifting 10 subs. Since everyone's in a gift-giving mood, here's some non-spoilery gifts from the FF store. Get the fuck out of here! Well, you guys are so... You guys are so generous, dude. It's... You guys are... It's... <laughs> I don't... I can't fathom. I cannot fathom. I don't know how to fathom. Um, optional items. No, 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 no. Oh, it's your account. Okay, go to your account. Enter item code. Quit, quit whining. You're being such a baby. You're being a baby. You're being a baby. I fucking love this dog, dude. With all my goddamn soul. I love both my dogs. They're the best fucking things. Wind up Yuna? Oh, no way, dude. That is so cool. Thank you. A wind up Yuna? <gasps> is there gonna be a wind up Titus? And a wind up Lulu. Nice! I love Lulu, dude. Thank you so much, Decimus. Thank you very much. 
Oh, you're so, you're so precious. You're so precious. You're so cold. You're so cold. All right, she doesn't want to be here anymore. Okay, W. Griff coming in with 10 subs, man. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, the 100 subs literally broke chat. Listen, that was every, I, there was a lot of, that was a lot going on. Surreal, thank you for gifting two more subs to the channel. Thank you. And thanks again, W. Griff. Okay. Okay, Alex Incorporated subbing with a prime. Welcome, sir. Or, madam. Well, if it ain't my old friend Pyra. Off to face the Archbishop and his cronies, is it? I'd love to go and give those bastards a good wallop in myself. Sorry about that. People just dropping a grand on subs easy. Uh, it's it's crazy. 100 subs is $500, dude. Then with 20% discount, you save 80 bucks, so it's $420. It's $420 for 100 subs. That's crazy. Instant Lala soon? That's what you guys think. There's still 700 away. And I know that 700 could happen fast. We literally just saw it happen. We actually did, that was 800, 850 subs. I don't know if you guys realize. In the last 20 minutes, 30 minutes, that was 850 subs. That's nuts. That's nuts. Really pissed. Thanks for the Prime Gaming. Welcome to the Garden Sprout. Welcome, actually, hey chat. Can we give a nice, big, huge welcome to the literal hundreds of people who just got subs. I'm assuming at this point, almost everybody in the chat has a sub because it'll, it'll pick people in the chat before it starts picking people that are offline. And given the fact that we have so many subs, I'm assuming that ev almost every single person in the chat is a sub now. That's insane, dude. That is insane. But then again, if they're not a sub, they can't talk and we won't know. <laughs> Just kidding. And if you did happen to dodge, nice job. That is insanely lucky. Serial, thanks for gifting five more, man. Dynamite Dan TNT, thank you for coming in with the four months on the Prime, by the way. Hope I didn't miss that. Surely it's over. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, dude. <laughs> you never know with some of these people. Yeah, they get, they get wild. I love to go and get those bastards a good wallop. And yeah, yeah, you said that. With the Archbishop gone, some of the poor folk might get it in their heads to do something stupid, like storming the pillars. But blood won't get us what we want, and I need to be around to remind them in case they forget. Uh, Fairstow, thanks so much for the Prime. Welcome to the Garden, Spout. Let's see how many non-subs we've got in chat. I think, uh, 
We can turn sub off mode now. Be free, chat. Watch the, the bots just go nuts. Okay, there's still, wow. Okay, we still got a couple. Then again, you have to think. Okay, there's still a lot. Okay, there's a lot of people that don't have it, okay. Okay, there's a lot. But you have to consider, a, a, a Twitch chat is, is always in motion. It's always in motion. There's, people are always coming in and out. So there's no, yeah, it's not gonna happen. Okay, we're settled the score. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really annoying to stand there and play music like that. Surreal, just coming, you just left spreading the love. Five more gifted subs. Surreal, thank you very much. And good job on all the dodges. You guys are killing it. Speak with Edmond and Fortan, Ed, Edmund and Fortan Manor. I don't want to go talk to him. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I do. God damn it. Uh, Mobius Journey, using your Prime on the channel. Thank you very much. Welcome. Still dodging. You're killing it. <laughs> You're doing the best dodges anyone could ever do. Yo, Mika Mad Kitty, coming in with, with five more. Thank you for gifting five subs to the channel. On top of what you did earlier. An anonymous gifting a tier one sub to Papa Murder Dolls. That is a an unsettling name, but a name nonetheless. Uh, or a name all the same. Scam Train. <laughs> Stevie, thanks for the 2,000 bits, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Scam Train. Hey, e hey, you guys should follow, by the way. I don't know if you guys heard about that. There's a purple button down below the screen. On the bottom right side, it says follow. You guys should definitely fucking hit that button. It's literally free. Mistress Manser, how good of you to pay me a visit? Oh. Oh, uh, <clears throat> sorry. Mistress Manser, how good of you to pay me a visit? Of course, Edmund. Edmund. Do I get your VA, sir? Hmm. It feels as if only yesterday, when we first met here in this chamber, you came to us as a fugitive seeking asylum, and now you bear the hopes of our nation upon your shoulders. <sighs> he would not have told you, but when Harshafon begged me to accept you into our household, he described you as hope incarnate. At the time, I assumed he was being... He was waxing lyrical, as was his wont. But I have come to see that he simply spoke the truth. You are hope. A shining beacon that shall guide the people of Ishgard through the raging snowstorm. A memento. Were my son here, he would have wished to fight at your side in the battle to come. Take care, my friend, and return to us. Fuck. That was hard, dude. <laughs> Whew. Um. <clears throat> that one was hard. Whew. My voice was literally breaking in the middle of that. That was hard. <laughs> <coughs> Mm. Huh. Uh, Aid223, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub. Welcome. Anonymous, gifting a tier one sub to Amaranth. Nice. Uh, Vesper Lowell, thank you for resubscribing with a Prime. Six months, bro. Hey, congrats on the new sub badge. Congrats. And D Bell Boy, of course, coming in to get five subs. Thank you so much, D Bell Boy. And Lady Nightshade with five as well. I really. W Dang. It hits even harder knowing Edmont's VA passed away. Yeah, that was fucking. That was hard, dude. Weird vibe. <laughs> really happy to the sadness. Well, like, I love, I, dude, I really liked Arshafan. Like, that was one of my, one of my favorite characters, actually. I mean, we have an emote for him, because every time he would speak, I would do this uh, rid ridiculous French accent. And that's how Arshafan spoke. And, uh, I don't know, when he'd come on screen and get VA, I'd always say shit like, oh, they got the VA wrong. They got the VA wrong, you know? and kind of like make fun of it. 
and then he fucking dies in the game, and I'm like, wow, that is fucking sad. Video game character dies. Sad. What happened to the Ysale emote? It's, what do you mean? Wait, where is the Ysale emote? Did I not put the fucking Ysale emote on there? Anyway, then, then you go to his dad, and he has that fucking quote, and that fucking made me cry, almost. And then he's he's crying, and I'm almost crying. There is a Ysale emote. Uh, maybe you guys don't know. Maybe, okay, cool. Hey, guess what, guys? Uh, get to 6,750 subs. So 15 more subs, and you get a new emote right now. <coughs> No, I, uh, I have not seen Pervy Japanese Archifon. I have not even, I'm not familiar with that. <laughs> the Keck W's, I love it. <laughs> oh, just, oh, sorry, I couldn't help myself. It was, I just, that was funny. Um, and then the VA of Edmonk dies, dude. And it's just like, crushes me, dude. Okay, I, we only needed 15, Stevie, you fucking animal. Just goes in for 30. He's like, you know what, dude? 15? Fuck that. What is that bullshit? Don't ever ask me for 15 subs ever again, you little fucking nerd. Don't ever ask... 15? Don't ever ask me for 15 again. And then he just was like, okay, 30. Cool. Admiral Green just was like, yeah, I'll throw in 20. Fuck it. He's like, I know Stevie's gonna get in there and handle it. Admiral's like, yeah, man, you know. Might as well fucking, hey, we're just building up the fucking... We're building this castle higher. Hey, it gets me uh, an even 300 for all time. Fuck yeah, dude. It actually does. Heck yeah. I went from fuck yeah to heck yeah. That was quite a change. Uh, you're just good at dodging. Uh, Clasgo, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming as well. Appreciate you using that here on the channel. Okay, let me put up the fucking... Let me get you guys the emote. There's a Yasail emote. <clears throat> here we go. I feel bad because I should have had that on there already. Pyromancer manipulates his viewers into, into paying for an emote that he already has. <laughs> Alright, here we go. To pictures. Stream art. Um, let's see. Emotes. I never did the Ysail one. So, it's a hydrate emote. Do you want Pyram Drink or Pyram Hydrate? Pyram H2O? What do you guys think is the best? Yo, can we pull this? Mods, can we pull this? Can we pull this, mods? Sip, yo, sip is a good one. Sip is, sip is easy to type. Sip is easy to type and short. That's a good one. I think sip is the probably the best. Drank. <laughs> Sit down. Drank. Stand up. Drank. Headshot. Drank. I don't remember. I don't know the. I don't remember the order. Sip is good. I think sip is good. Pyram sip. Okay, here we go. Pyram sip. There we go. We don't even need to pull it. Cancel the poll. We don't even need it. Everyone pick sip in the poll. Everyone knows that's the right answer. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Well, there you go. It's already working for me. Stop the count. Really? I mean, somebody get up there and stop the count. Stop the freaking count. This is completely... I mean, it's obviously been rigged from the get-go. It's been rigged from the get-go. I mean, really, truly, it's been rigged so bigly. We can't, I mean, it's fucking, somebody stop the count. It's crazy. Unless I'm winning, then don't stop the fucking count. Keep counting, idiot. You dumb bitch. Why would I want you to stop the fucking count? We're gonna win bigly. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. I can't believe you said that. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Speak to me, Edmond. When Ultrafont asked me to, to accept you into our household, he described you as hope incarnate. At the time. Uh, that's what he's going to keep saying that. That's such a nice... That's such good dialogue, dude. I hope that's the last... Well, I mean, I hope that I get to see him in the future, but I also kind of hope that's the last dialogue that he gets. And that's like what he stays with here forever. Ah, uh, it's just... It's so beautiful. That'd be... That'd be but it's probably not going to be. Hmm. Yo, hello, hold on, let me catch up. What's happened? Lady Nightshade subscribed with a tier one. Thank you very much for doing that. Stevie with a, a thousand more bits, forcing power to stall as much as rich. Stop that. Tacitus resubscribing with a two months on the tier two. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Really do appreciate that. Suriel coming in with five more gifted subs. See, Suriel is sleeper. They will go uh, small, 
amounts over long periods of time, and they will completely outdo those beneath them. And it, uh, that's their strategy. But either way, thank you very much. Whoa. Yo, I need, uh... La Habrea Waters. Something for the prize pool? Ruby Barding? Emerald Barding? Diamond Barding? True Barding of Light? Hell yeah, dude. Can I give these two away? And can I use these two? I don't have Ruby. <laughs> I don't have them. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> uh, thank you very much, dude. That is very generous of you. I do have diamond. I have diamond and true barding of light. I don't have emerald or ruby. But thank you. Th that's very, very nice. Go for it. Are you sure? These are still cool. We'll still give these away. Hey, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you. You guys are so generous. What the fuck? No, I didn't yoink him. I asked him. I asked him. They're pretty cheap anyway. Okay, then they're, they're cheaper anyway. Well, if maybe I'll buy them again. Did you ever use the yeah yeah? I did. It's dude, Kitiana. The read emote is like the now the only emote on my bars. I fucking love it. This emote is literally made for me. Sip not on emote list. Uh, reload your uh, reload your sh uh, your stream. Cereal, uh, did you just gift five more? What the fuck? Uh, I know ya. I know ya. Nice. Your fucking name gets me every time. I know ya. Thank you so much for the two months with the tier one. And Noir Wolf, thank you for the two months as well. Strip Lurk, whoa. Aelgard gifting a tier one to, uh, Liniel. Thank you. Still not getting sip. Refreshed a few times? Yeah, I didn't even have to refresh and, and it's coming up for me. Um, just give it a little bit, guys. Sometimes it's a little weird. <clears throat> Sometimes, you know what you might have to do? Sometimes uh, I uh, would like have to clear my uh, my cookies and my cache and that would get rid of like the pre the pre cached and preloaded images and allow them to load fresh again. You might also have to just close the browser and come back. I don't know, whatever, you know, try whatever you'd like. Thank you, That's that was very nice of you. Uh, let's make sure we keep those over on the right side for stuff that's for the giveaway. Um. I am told that I'm supposed to be given a large sum of money. Someone was apparently supposed to be uh, trading me large quantities of money. Te was that you? Pro Taro Summers? Forty-five gil? Holy shit, that, that about does it. Hell yeah! I traded you, uh, I traded it to Adrian to give you later. Oh. You gave it to Lumino? He's gonna scam it. Lumino? Lumino, are you here? Lumino's definitely gonna scam it. I'll trade it off stream since it's a lot. How much is it? How much is it? 12 mil? Oh shit. <clears throat> oh, I know you can only trade it. Yeah, one at a time. Yeah, yeah. Serial gifted four more subs. Or was it five? It says four over there. That's not a lot. I mean, 12 mil from one person is... I mean, that's it's only 12 trades, but that's fine. We'll do it later. <clears throat> I need to go to the airship, guys. I have... I have we gotta go. I got... Pack your shit. We gotta go. Are we getting a house? I, I I could never have afforded a house. Where the fuck am I going? God damn it. Anathem Astrological. If I can pop in tomorrow, I'll pledge a milk. Hot. You could with that 12 mil. <laughs> Oh, hello, sir. Hello, sir. Countered Mont bequeaths you 
bequeathed to you Lord Orshafon's shield? A noble gesture. We bear the hopes and dreams of full many souls. Let their faith in us be a source of strength and courage as we face our remaining trials. Maybe we'll become primals. Whoa. If we bear the hopes and dreams, and they have faith in us, and they pray for us, maybe we'll become primals. The ultimate primal. Hope and Kindled. The first flight of the Excel... It's called the Excelsior. Nice. The game will soon be afoot, and Alphano is keen to assemble the players. Would you ever go on work to game to talk about your experiences since starting 14? I'm not familiar with work to game, but sure. Work on the Enterprise is nearly complete. Let Yushtola know to make ready. They have to ask first, yeah. Until but recently, the Ishgardians have kept their doors firmly shut to outsiders. But thanks to you, we have found in them stout allies with whom we may fight to secure the future of the realm. Truly, you are the beacon of hope towards which all men are drawn. Spare us the hyperbole. Tis not for praise that we fight. Take a bath. Oh? In light of all we have achieved, I felt it only meet to express my gratitude. All that we have achieved? <laughs> Spoken like a true outsider. Until the war is over, we have achieved nothing. It's a little... Okay. <clears throat> All right. The coming battle is a chance a to deck. excise <laughs> the root of this conflict. And by my hand, it shall be done. Then, you may speak of achievement. Whatever gets your rocks off, Estinian. T'was not mine intent to make light of your struggle. If I have given offense, then I apologize. But if I may speak freely, you would do well to be wary of the eye. Even now, it burns with insatiable hatred, watching unblinking for a sign of weakness. Should you falter for so much as a moment, it will surely consume you. That's a not good. Save <clears throat> your concern. I will consume the eye ere I let it consume me. Uh, okay. That, um... Ah, Orianger! <clears throat> Twelve be praised. Thou hast not yet set forth. Cross sand and snow have I journeyed. No way. That I might deliver this gift unto Where thee. Where did you get that, Urianger? White Aurasite. But whence did it come? To mine amazement, it lay hid amongst Moonbreeder's last effects. Twas but blind chance or providence that I did hap to spy it. Let no man claim that my late friend Air erred for lack of foresight. Nice. Even with in her gone. In the place whither thou goest, servants of darkness do lie in wait. Pray, give unto me thy pledge that thou wilt strike them down and avenge our fallen comrade. I will do my best, Orianger. Moonbrita's lasting legacy. Yep. Yeah. She really figured out something really important before we lost her. And her mark will be left on us uh, for that. I'm going to charge my headphones really... I'm going to plug them in.
I really don't want them to die in the middle of a cinematic. Let us go, Pyro. Azisla awaits. <clears throat> Ah, excellent timing. We've just finished our work on the Enterprise. She's so much improved, I've decided to give her a new name to suit. Yeah? The Enterprise Excelsior. Or simply the Excelsior, if pressed for time. Nice. Excelsior! Once again, she'll carry Eorzea's protectors into battle. Omoku, thank you for the prime. Welcome. I can do no more than see you off with prayers for your safety and success. Thanks. Yet know that wheresoever you may go, my son's spirit goes with you. May the fury grant you strength. Return to us, all of you. Go. Enterprise Excelsior, engage. Damn, you're getting some high tech shit. We're getting some pimping shit now. Look at that thing. Fuck yeah, dude. Sid knows what the fuck is up, dude. Next thing you know, he's gonna be he's gonna be flying in on an F-22 Raptor, and then after that, he's gonna fucking fly in on the back of Starscream. Jesus, this place is fucking huge. At last. This is it! Get ready! Me and Ro, thank you so much for subscribing. Eye of mine enemy, render unto me thy power! Nice! Holy shit! Liza Beam. No, you will not claim me. I am the master. <laughs> Come on! Nicely done. Oh, fuck.
Chief, we've got an Imperial battleship on our tail. And it's bleeding massive. Yes, it is. Damn it! The bastards were waiting for us to open the door for them. The shocker. I'm gonna try to shake them. Hang on to something. Where to go, Pyro? I tried. I'm trying. I'm just trying to be the best warrior of light I can be. She won't take much more of this. No shit. The time is come to use Heidlin's gift. What? I'm excited for this cutscene right now, dude. I am fucking excited. Ari, thank you so much for the uh, Prime for two months. Much blood is she riding on the back of Race Felger? No way! For what? For a false cause that I created for want of the warmth of companionship. No way, dude. Ugh. Saint Shiva. Pray, Svelga. Pray, forgive this fool. But even now, I cannot let go of my dream. My dream of a tomorrow in which no child need freeze alone in the snow. Wait a second. Wait a second. This is like so reminiscent of like the Midgard Zomir versus the Agrius. <clears throat> oh shit, what the fuck? Dude. This is so fucking. Fill this vessel with your light. Still the hatred within our hearts and bless us with eternal grace. Dude, what is happening? That's so sick. Every time. <laughs> nice. Distraction maneuver. The trans 
position, of course. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. She's titanicking them. She literally just titanic them. <laughs> no fucking way. Holy shit. Ah, fuck, I was a little too late there. Farewell, warrior of light. And thank you no. for showing me the way. No! This ether, it was a crystal of light.
They kill all the characters that I like the most. God damn it. It sounds like one of my one of my favorite characters. And we just put the emote up for, dude. Can you believe that? Can you fucking believe that? Wow. She too was one of Heidelin's chosen. Oh yeah, you didn't know that, did you? Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. I don't know why it keeps... Are we good? Thank you. I don't even see that. Why is that not my feed? Why don't I see bits? Fuck. Okay. She too is one of Highland's chosen. I almost cried on that one, dude. I was fucking really close. I was fucking. Fare you well, my lady. Alpha no scream almost got me, dude. What a great character, dude. What a fucking great character, dude. But she will live on in emote form. True. Oh my. Hello, everyone. Hello. Even Astinian shows respect. Misail. I cannot believe she's gone. The echo is a gift and the burden both, as you know only too well. Though we walked opposing paths, Iceheart was a worthy woman. Her deeds will not soon be forgotten. You know, you could almost... You know, in a way, Yasail kind of became, she really, in a more literal sense, not literal sense, but in, in a, in the sense of like, quite literally followed in the, in the footsteps of Saint Shiva. Uh, it's beautiful and tragic, dude, it is. Fuck. <laughs> God, dude. Ah! It's so good. That's so good. Ah, uh, it's so... This game. Hey, thanks. This game is so fucking good, dude. <laughs> and here I am. Wow, look at that. What a fucking view that is. Here I am, about to get to see some more Alligan shit. Let's go. Is this a whole zone? Oh my god. As this law is a whole giant zone. Oh shit. There's two dungeons? The flagship, huh? Finishing the night, by the way. Yeah, fuck it.
you have any more emotes planned? Yes. You should make emotes of the villains you hate, then they'll die quicker in the story. <laughs> Surreal, thank you for gifting five more subs to the channel. And Lady Ram, thanks for subbing with your own tier one. Thank you. Did you like how they pulled in footsteps in the snow? That was pretty good. It is, dude, the music. I'm starting to get it. Whew. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to be back on solid ground, even if said ground is floating in the sky. When that Imperial battleship appeared, I honestly thought we were finished, and we would have been, had her friend not arrived when she did. Mercy. Brief though our time together was, Isale was a true friend. A gentle soul who fought for her beliefs. She. she would have made a fine scion. What is a scion but one who fights for our cause? Our hopes survive thanks to her sacrifice. Let that be enough. Yet, I cannot help but wonder, how came she to know of our presence here? From race, Felga, I would wager. It would have felt my channeling of the eye's power. It would seem they were able to make peace with one another in the end. She gave her life because she believed in us. We owe it to her to see our mission through. Honorary Scion. See that dome-like structure further in? Let's make our way there. Okay. I can do that, but I gotta have some of this salad. <laughs> that was fucking sad, dude. Stop killing my favorites! Thoughts on Ysale after knowing now her final fate? Um. That's one of the best characters um, that I've seen in an, in an MMO. She was really good. She was really good. Her time was brief as well, all things considered, yeah. chili. How are you going to bet this is how Sylvanas Redemption is going to play out? <laughs> Estinian giving respect right there. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, there's no chance they kill Sylvanas now.
Oh, definitely worth this. Oh, definitely. Desmus, I would agree. I would agree. What did you like so much about her? I like that I could. I like that I really got to actually witness her character's progression. That's important to me. I think it has to be realistic. And uh, I really, I liked how she was so resolute in what she believed in that it really kind of led to. Her almost kind of fulfilling a destiny that w that's similar to uh, what Saint Shiva uh, sought, you know? Peace between man and dragon. And uh, Inyasail really, like, quite literally followed in the footsteps of, of Shiva. And I think that it's funny because she believes in this false goddess, but her belief in this false goddess brought her closer to the real woman that lived than she ever could have known. You know what I mean? And I think that I think that there's like a certain kind of beauty to that, right? I think that uh I really like that. The real woman as in Shiva, as in Saint Shiva. Rather than the divine entity which she thought, you know. I also like that her presence kind of unfolded a, a, a part of the narrative that kind of shows you that the worship and the faith and the belief of the followers can really shape the deity. Stevie, thanks for giving us up to Brokeback. And Mr. Boris Makarov, thanks for uh, subscribing. Future, thanks for the two months. And it's your birthday. Hell yeah. Happy birthday, man. I also just liked her attitude. Obviously, the connection with Heidelin is a necessity for all of this to happen. So, seems to me like Yasail quite literally fulfilled her destiny. And I think that's also really cool. I like she held on to her ideals while also recognizing she wasn't 100% right all the time. And I think, I think that's awesome. What do you, what do you mean a necessity? Um, I guess in fantasy, I believe in like, uh, in some, in some, uh, settings, I like to believe in the idea of, um, Especially when you have divine entities that can do, like, divine intervention like Heidelin can. Um. I like the idea that some events don't just happen by chance. In that... Like, maybe Heidelin had something to do with... does with the course of events that are unfolding. Do you, you get what I'm saying? It's like, we wouldn't be here. Heidelin's reach only goes so far, you mean? No, no, no. I mean, like, um... It could just be narrative necessity is a way to look at it. But... I suppose what I'm really trying to say is Heidelin is orchestrating events so that certain things happen. That's what I'm saying. Heidelin and Zodiac both are. I'm pretty sure of it. They got chess pieces all over the board.
Why Zod Zodiark? Because if Heidelin does, I'm sure that Zodiark does. Think about this. What do the Asians do? They go around and they teach people how to summon primals. How do Asians know how to summon these fake primal things? Huh? How do they know that? How do they know that? How do they have the knowledge inherently? Teaching these people, they can summon a thing that's not even real. Crazy. Crazy. And you mean to tell me these guys go around Asian motherfuckers have to do shit like that. Why? Well, it's because when primals get summoned, it bleeds the ether out of the land. It's literally killing the land. The land is alive, right? And it's definitely connected to Hydaelyn. The world's called Hydaelyn. So, I would think that Zodiac's probably in, in some way responsible for the primals. Or maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it all works. But I would assume it's a big floating blue crystal that gives a special gift and all that stuff. You got a big floating purple crystal. Usually, when you're presented with a with a concept of duality, there's a connection between the two things. So, when one's a big ass floaty crystal and has immortal servants that have powers beyond that of a regular man, and then the other ones are the Alligans, or not the Alligans, the other ones are the Assians. You know. Joining, they call it. Yeah. Crazy shit. It's gonna be crazy. This game's it's gonna be crazy. I can't wait. Don't forget the Illuminati. Never forget the Illuminati. Pepperidge Farms remembers them. You either don't like 14, or tempered and became walking ADS. <laughs> Was that a huge, huge amount of food? Uh, no, it's it's kind of it's a big salad. So that makes me ask, where are Heidelin's Asians? Because it would be nice to have some immortal teleporting guys. Yeah, would wouldn't it? Where's Heidelin's? Where are Heidelin's guys at? I have no idea. Where's Heidelin's Asians hanging out at? <laughs> I don't know. Can anyone point me? Can anyone point me in the right direction? They're hiding in the sky.
Christ. Jesus Christ, Chad. Apparently I'm popular. Yo, Devon Senpai! Punch the big crystal right in the jaw. Thanks for the tier one for two months, man. Thank you. Pyro sponsored by Nike, I fucking may as well. Seeing you put story beats and lore beats together real time is very fun and interesting. Anyways, keep up the good work and have fun with the story. P.S. I like seeing others give their ideas while I know the answers so that I can just not say anything. <laughs> <coughs> well, thanks for that. What did you like so much about Archifant? I think I liked... What I liked about Archifant was the fact that he was stationed at a lower post because of the familial relations and all that that went on. And he was put out there in harsher conditions than many of the others in Ishgard. Uh, he spent time in areas not protected uh, by any of the wards. He took you in when we had to run away from Ulda. <coughs> and advocated for us since day fucking one. He, al he did have a good attitude. He was just always kind of like, even when the worst shit would happen. And it was just a character that I individually connected with a little bit more because it was a character that I did a goofy, funny, special, though brutal on my voice, uh, voiceover for. And... You know, that's a part of my experience, and, and, uh, it sucks. It sucks. Hold on, I'm getting blown up. <coughs> when the baby doesn't want to lay in the fucking crate. So she just lays halfway inside the crate. <laughs> Goofy dog. She's so cute, though. She's such a... Yeah, they're, they're both great dogs. Thank you all for being here and welcoming me. Very kind of you all. Thank you. Damn, big elegant structure. Look at the reflections here. It looks so good. Oh, whoops. I am supposed to go. Oh. This game is just outright pretty. Yeah, and this shit's from 2013 PS3 era BTW. <clears throat> Do texture... I'm assuming things like texture quality and stuff like that gets better as you move into, like, Stormblood and Shadowbringers and all that. Yes. Kinda. A little better, but not much, honestly. Bit by bit. Okay. Okay, it's 2015. Okay, cool for that, but... Yeah, but the anti-aliasing never gets better. Ah, whatever, it's fine. I don't really notice the anti-aliasing that much anymore. You just... I just kind of don't notice it. Just get used to it. Welcome to Helix. Alpha Quadrant. Beta Quadrant. Well, that's where most of the chat is going to be found. As well as me, let's be honest. Gamma Quadrant. We don't go there because we will probably die. And Delta Quadrant. Uh, Delta, Delta's pretty good. I've flown with Delta a couple times. And I'd say... You know, I'd actually say Delta is probably one of my best experiences flying. That and United. Actually, no. United kind of fucking sucked. United was okay. They were okay. Anyway.
Delta's A tier? Oh, Delta is COVID. That, that, you'll probably die there too. Speak with Sid. Make me. Hold on, before we get into this, I just, I have to, while I'm literally standing next to the etherite, I'm so sorry to do this, but I need to go, to, I'm gonna fucking lose my mind if I don't go do this right now. I've been looking at it all day, and I was just like, you know what, dude, we're just gonna let it go, we're gonna let it go, no, fuck that. I'm going to Annex, Annex Trine, and I'm fucking flying over there. Because if not, I will never do it. <clears throat> Delta Quadrant is full of Borg, though. I don't want to deal with Borg. Man, fuck. Man, fuck the Borg, man. Uh, it, uh, we had a deal. It went bad a couple years ago. And, uh, oh shit. I need to, oh, can I fly here? Oh, I can, yes. I, I, don't, I don't really want to, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Ifrit extreme time? Yeah, how about Ifrit fucking punch myself in the face time? Listen, let me put it this way. I think I can definitely do Ifrit. I definitely think I can. And I and I like the challenge, dude. I like that it was fucking hard. I know. But... <clears throat> not now. Not now. I'm chill right now. I'm not trying to do Ifrit right now. What the fuck? How about Shiva Extreme? Nah, nah, nah. We'll do Extremes maybe tomorrow. Maybe that's what Saturday stream will be, where I can mix in some, uh, some, uh, Winter, Springa. Just kidding. God, I'm so stupid. I say the darnest thing sometimes. <clears throat> I cannot yet fly here, of course. Can you get the fuck off me? Yeah, yeah. We'll probably do some, like, extreme shit. We'll probably do... <laughs> what the fuck? Two days back to back? Yeah, yeah. You have all the time in the world for raids? True. I mean, I can always come back and do, uh... And, and do, do all those... Pro does, like, Ifrit and Titan and them, do they have ultimates? No? When did... They have Unreal? Ultima does? What's Unreal? Is that... Because Ultimates are a completely separate thing. Right? Unreal or Old Extremes scales to 80. Don't they show up in the Ultima Ultimate? I don't know. Oh, fuck off. Suck my balls, man. Suck my balls. It's a crock of shit. We both know it. Where the fuck, what am I supposed to, I don't understand. What am I supposed to be doing? Search Illuminati pots for ether filter sugars within the architect. It's in the middle? How do I get in the middle? Is there a door? I mean, that looks like a door, but. Keep going around? Okay. Deeper inside. <laughs> Perverts! Summon your companion? Good call. The ultimates. Twintanya, Nail, Bahamut is one ultimate. Garuda, Titan, Ifrit. Ultima is another. And Redacted is the third. Okay. Holy shit! 
Let's go! That hits like a fucking truck. I like that. I can't wait and oh my I can't wait. Oh my god, Fire Force sick, dude. I haven't really been able to play with it yet because I, I've been over leveled, so it's been on my bar, but I can never use it in any of the content that I do. Because I'm over leveled. Ether current behind you? Hey, good shout. Thank you. Good shout. Everything now will be minimum 60. Nice. So you can use it in everything going forward. Nice. The fun is what's added to Enochian now? Um, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Talking about the, yeah, yeah. Blizzard 4 and Fire 4. Okay. Foul is great, Xeno's better. Okay. Illuminati pot. We're collecting pot from the Illuminati. Oh yeah, from now on you'll be unlocking your skills when you hit the level. No need for a job quest except for the level 70. Oh, that's good to know. So that quest line, yeah, that's it then. Like when they tell you that's that's the conclusion, like that is the conclusion. Well darn. That's cool, but kind of sad. But we have the same air conditioner. I know that's a weird observation, but don't judge me. But there's a lot that look pretty much identical that are that style. So, you know. Depends on the brand, I guess, that you have. Has Uplander found ether, ether flow distributors? Yes, I have. Thank you, Uplander. With these, half six, half six can do upkeep. So half six, is that just three? Is his name just three? Nice. Uplanders of Charlene are making etherites to whirl. Using tricksy ancient knowings, if Gobby Flock uses tools and parts left by old Uplanders, then etherite of Idleshire will, of Idleshire, a Shire will stay spinning for many, many years. I think that guy was Zavala earlier, right? Nice. Let's check ether currents. Oh shit. I've got two in the churning mists that I can discover. Four in the Dervanian hinterlands that I can discover. And one from a quest. Which I've already unlocked. It's somewhere, though. I would assume. How long until Pyro's brain melts from Gobby Speak? I don't think it'll melt. It'll be good. I'm going to go, f I'm, let's go finish unlocking flying really quick. Let's just get that out of the way. Churning mists. Let's put a mog on. Do you want to ride? Fuck it, sure. You are way too good at being Zavala. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never sounded like Zavala in my entire life. And if you would ever accuse me of such a thing, I'll have to bring down the full power of the tower upon you. 
Alright, hey. Someone give me a red. Kitiana Metzger, invite to party. Thank you very much. Hold on, someone gave me those bardings earlier. Let me see, let me... You know what, I'm so ADHD, dude. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, so, we've got one. I can't use this while I'm in the fucking thing, dude. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Let me out. I can't fucking use it. That's fucking whack. 478 alms to the northwest. Wait, wait, wait. Don't I have a two-person... Oh, I can't fly. <laughs> That's why we're here, Taylor. That is literally the reason we're here. Fuck. <laughs> Sometimes the, the good old brain doesn't... Landlord colony? No, I didn't ask to be brought here. I don't want to see my landlord. Ah, there it is. Oh, that would be... I, they really should just let you fucking go for it, dude. Honestly, they should just let you send it. And if you don't make it, then you fucking die. That's what should happen. But I really wish they'd let me do it. At this speed, they could probably just get a heading from you and then look for it on your screen. Oh, shit. <clears throat> so, next one. 568 yalms to the northeast. There will be some stuff to do pre-3-1 when we finish 3-0 as well. Just wanted to give you a heads up on that. What are you eating? Um, the innards of dead children. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm eating chili. So, pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Technically, it's lamb. So it is a dead child lamb. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a baby. Te technically, they're not, well, you know, it's not a... Is it around here? Um... Two hundred and twenty-eight yams to the southwest. Papyro? Are you okay, Strummer? No, 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 no. Yes, everything's fine. I think? No, I mean, I'm, I'm running out of it. Not Everything's not fine. A whole country?! Yo, Stevie, thanks for gifting five more subs. As if you hadn't done enough crazy shit today. Devilish Dogma, thank you for resubbing with a tier one for two months, by the way, and praise lore, that's right. Devin Senpai, I already said that one. I... Eat harder, streamer. I can't fucking eat harder. hundred and twenty eight yolms to the east. This way. Obscure reference David. Thanks for the prime for your second month. <laughs> Grats on the new sub badge. Nice. I'm a free bird. Nice. We'll come back and ex ex explore some different time. <clears throat> now, we've got to do the... What is this zone? We've got to do... Yeah, that's, that's not... Yeah. We're in the churning mist, so we need to go to... Oh, Serial. Thank, Serial, thanks for gifting five, five more subs. Thank you. Stavania. The Devanian Hinterlands. Do I not have an etherite there? Is there not an etherite in the Dravanian hinterlands? Hmm. There 
is not. Are you trying to wrap up 3-0 tonight? I don't know. I have no idea. Five hundred and thirty yams to the southeast. Etherhead placement isn't that bad, honestly. Vesper Bay was the only one that sucked, but you get tickets for that. Yes. That made that pretty I mean, that made that really easy. How are you enjoying Final Fantasy XIV so far? Um, this uh, game is absolutely fucking sick. Yeah. I like uh, almost everything about this game. And I'm only in the first expansion. 185 to the northwest. 185 northwest. Oh, it is right there. Understandable. I don't like Lollafels either. <laughs> well. This game likes almost everything about you, too. <laughs> I don't necessarily know what that means, but thank you. 574 to the southwest. 574 southwest. You're still streaming? Mm-hmm. What are your dislikes so far? Um, I'd honestly say my only real dislike is like some of the menus maybe are a little bit like they could be streamlined to be easier to interact with. Like when I right click him and I want to ride in the pillion, I feel like right there it should just instantly open a drop down UI where I can just select the, ch the seat and it doesn't have to, you know what I mean? That's not closing one thing, opening another for like little weird shit. You know, like this right here. This interface, you have to, you have to, you have to right click, then you have to left click, then you have to left click again to like, that's just a, I just like, that's a lot of, this is going to sound so weird probably maybe to some people, but it's a lot of effort to get into a mount. You know, that should be a very, that should be like a one or two click thing. You know, you should be able to just click on the seat you want to get into. Let's be honest. But it's really not a big deal. Other than, like, little, little, like, really specific shit like that. Um, the only other thing that I think in this game I wish was improved is the, uh... Well, the anti-aliasing, for one, but I understand why it is the way it is. And then the way that the game responds to input. Like, the, the, uh... The tick... The map could use an upgrade... Yeah, the map could use an update. And then, like, the way that the server, um, ticks. It's kind of weird. Sorry, I got a little distracted there. 241 yams to the northwest. The server tick rate's really low. Yeah, well, what you guys call snapshotting... Yeah, like, in my brain, when I hear, when I, when I hear snapshotting coming from WoW, I'm thinking of something different. Uh, they're similar in, in how they... Like, what they're doing, I guess. Oh, whoops. But they're not... Is this on the roof up here? Snapshotting has two meanings in FF? Okay, that makes sense, then. So, like, what I mean is literally the, the responsiveness of the game. Like, I don't know how else to describe that to you. 
good, Hellbreath. Hellbreath. I'm, I'm glad. Tick thingy is for game stability and to avoid bugs, etc. I'm not sure that that's true. You're the only person I think that's ever said that to me, but I also don't know, so... Whatever. I'm not really... I don't really care why it is. I don't really care why it's the case. It's just my honest feedback as far as, like, you ask me if there's a reason... If there's something I don't like about the game. I mean, that's it. Isn't responsiveness something you get used to? Yes, but you shouldn't have to. It should just feel snappy. That's the... That's the... Tr I mean, that's just the truth. It should feel... It, it feels... It feels a little bit less modern because it's not as responsive. RuneScape has... RuneScape does the same thing with how its server ticks work. At times, RuneScape in, can feel less responsive because of... Because of it. And I, 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 I guess I just think for um, modern games, that just shouldn't be a... And RuneScape's not a modern game. It's literally built on and uses an engine, you know, from 2007 or whatever. But... Uh, it, it just... Uh, yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, pushing... Uh, yeah, prayer flicking on OSRS because of ticks is fucking nuts, dude. Some people can pray prayer flick their fucking minds out, dude. Like, I... Yeah. I can do some prayer flicking, but nothing crazy. Nothing wrong with upgrading server tick? Yeah. It just... It, it just feel cool to, like, I hit my button, and I it immediately goes. And when the cast bar ends, I can immediately cast another one. And it's not, like, this weird overlapping latency. Which you do get used to, and I think is is part of the skill cap of this game. I'll be honest. In combat, understanding how to manipulate server ticks in this game for movement is instrumental, especially for a class like Black Mage. So don't get don't get it twisted. I pay attention to it, and it's something that I unfortunately uh, am gonna have to learn to manipulate very well, because that's how I'm going to survive. So I I I get it, um, and it's something that you know, I'll just do it. It is what it is. But I just sort of wish I didn't have to. That's animation lock and latency. Whatever you want, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. I don't care what the term is. That thing. How do the new badges look? Or the new bardings look? Right, thank you for reminding me. So this is a new one that I got. Are you fucking out of your mind, dude? Fucking toucan. Won't be changed until Final Fantasy 16. I know. Okay. So that's the Barding of Light, which I got from achievement point things. And this will be Emerald Barding. That's pretty sweet, dude. It looks like adamant armor. Oh, that's the Ruby Barding. I saw someone with this the other day, and I commented on how fucking sick it looked, and that I wanted that. And here in front of me it is. Dude, if I had this with a black chocobo, it would look fucking dope. You can die your chocobo. I know, but I don't know how. I don't know how. Oh, is that? Oh, that looks so good. That's what I wanted. Oh, dude. And are you wearing, like, ASEAN shit right now? Like, what the fuck are you wearing? You look so sick. Anyway. 
need a stable. There's a chocobo color calculator. It's a, quite a process. Let's let's do it tomorrow. Let's do that tomorrow. Ooh, that's a cool barding too. Is that a Leviathan barding? What the fuck? That looks cool. No, that's not Leviathan. Is that Leviathan? I don't know. It takes like five hours to change colors? Get the fuck out of here. Leviabetus. Levi My name's Hubert Farnsworth. And I have Leviabetus. I don't think that was all of them. Um, 705 yams to the southeast. Sorry. I am... I might have minor... ADHD. If you couldn't tell. Six full hours real time. Damn. Every streamer does? Yeah. Six hours of waiting, it's not a big deal. Eh, yeah. Maybe we'll set it up tomorrow and go do other stuff. Just a six hour wait? Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Hundred and twenty five yams to the southeast. Pick me up. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, a sightseeing thing. Can you put me on that? Cannot dismount when station when ah uh, dumb. Okay, no worries. I can just get flying and I'll come back and get it. Or I just drop from above. Oh yeah, take me... F yeah, maybe? I don't know. Who gives a fuck? It's fine. I don't know where the fuck this etherite thing is. Uh, could be up on top of that thing, yeah? Oh. Oh yeah, go up on top of the aqueduct thing right there. Or, no, because that's not an aqueduct. What the fuck am I talking about? Sorry, go up on top of the fucking bridge. Is it up there? Here, let me just... 69 yams to the north. <laughs> wow. Oh, down there. On the ground. Let me out. One hundred and eighty-one yams to the east. That's not very far. Nice. Nice. Top of the cliff near the library? Yep, right there. Wow. And then there's a quest one. In Idleshire, probably? No? No? Matoya? I think I did that one. Wouldn't it show up on the map? You 
can only see quests if you're on the map. Oh. Oh. Maybe it isn't Edelshire. It probably is, then. Oh, Cave's in another zone. It's probably in Idleshire, because I'm pretty sure I got the one from... What's-her-face? Yeah, it's right there. There is an Aether right in the cave. Steam appears to be rising from Midnight Dew's beautifully bedecked ears. <clears throat> Gods damn it, I've been had. Some twice cursed sons of a mad blind bitch have made off with all my takens and my tradables too. I knew this place was full of treasure hunters, but I never reckoned it'd be my treasures they'd be hunting. And it ain't just my losses that concern me. The gobbies count on the goods and I bring them in to keep this place fed and watered. If I don't get my stock back, this whole town could fall apart. What do you say, Adventurer? Will you help me bring those thieving curs to book? An Adventurer coming back from the answering quarter says he's bumped into a gang of ill-looking brutes on Front Bridge. Nearly knocked the poor kid into the Thaliac they did. Anyhow, he says they were heading into the ruins. Meet me there and we'll start the search. Let's go. Let me fly. Let me fly. Dialogue having bitch in it. Uh, let's take that out of the game. That'll lessen. That'll that'll lessen the blow when everything comes to light. Yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take one of the most brutish characters in the game and remove dialogue. That'll, that everyone will forget. I hope Bobby Kodak gets fucked for like seven hundred million dollars, like eight times. They make references to. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I don't know about if I agree with all that. I just don't think that changing shit in the game is the thing you should be focusing on right now. I think really showing that you're changing shit in real life is the thing that you should be doing. Not to say that it's, you know, it's not a good cause, but I think that there's bigger fish to fry at the moment. That's my opinion. I can give a fuck at the end of the day, but... Well met, lass. Now, here's the plan. Considering the weight of the stuff they stole, they won't get far on foot. Chances are they've gotten a boat hidden, or hidden somewhere. I'll get onto my crew and have them stake out, stake out the riverbank. In the meantime, I want you to search the ruins for whatever you can find. Might be the bandits are lying low out there. Or maybe they've stashed the loot and moved on. If you chance upon any of my belongings, I'd be obliged if you'd bring them back to me. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, but fixing the IRL stuff is like really hard work for them. Changing a few code lines is easier. Yeah. Therefore, we should not aspire to harder work. <laughs> It'll be. Whatever, 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 whatever. What's going on up here? Am I gonna have to fuck some bitches out? Okay, well. You ask for this. I want to try this. Nice. Damn, no way. That's so sick. Oh, dude. I'm going to like that. You know what, actually? T and shift T. Shift T will take me back.
Give me my stolen shit. Launch will be fine even on ether. You think so? Yeah, I don't think you've ever had as many people as what's going to be there for Endwalker. I don't know if people understand that. It's going to set records. You know that. You know it's going to set records. It's going to be sick. We are already setting records? No, no, no. Huh. <laughs> you're, you're, you, yeah. You are? But you're not setting big boy records yet. But you will be soon. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. N Walker is... We're talking potentially millions of new players. Millions of new players. Hype that huge? Are you kidding me? You have some of the biggest content creators from formerly the largest MMO in the world coming over to this game and showing people how much they love it. You have the free trial going on. Like, there are going to be a lot of people. Why do people join when an X-Pack comes out and not before so they can... No, 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 no. It doesn't... It doesn't matter. It's not about... It's not about... Just people making new accounts when a new expansion comes out. Think about this. Let's say you take three million people. Let's let's okay. Let's let's use a let's use a more conservative number. Let's say you take a million people from World of Warcraft, okay. And let's say let's say sixty percent of those people, when they quit WoW, they want to immediately find a new MMO to get into. Okay, those are those are people like me, right? When I left WoW, I came to FF pretty much immediately after, and I absolutely fucking love this game. Because I love MMOs when they're fun. So there's people that are going to immediately go over, and then there's going to be a, a large amount of people that are like, you know what, I'll just try it when the new shit comes out. I know I can boost, blah, blah, blah. There's going to be people that do that. And you take that 60%, so 600,000 players. And... They get into it immediately. Well, that might be over the course of three or four, three to f uh, three to f five months, really, anywhere from three to five months out. And so that six hundred thousand players can be dispersed pretty easily over the course of three months. They'll they'll play at different paces. Some will stop playing in ARR. Maybe they won't come back. Some will boost up. Some won't. Some will play, you know, until Endwalker comes out. Like I probably will. And then you have this massive influx of 400,000 people at launch. And that's just that's just obviously using rough metrics with absolutely no thing nothing to represent them in any capacity. Those are literally just made up numbers. Someone look for eels and leave. No eels. No eels. Where the fuck is my eels? How do you expect me to cast fucking fire 3 and then go to the goddamn weld caves to cast fire 4 with no eels? With no eels. I don't want your fucking manzanas, okay? I've been doing Duolingo, and I learned how to say apples. No comprende uno manzanas. I'm just kidding. That's not what you would say. Why are you giving me these? This is very nice of you, but I don't... Oh, this is for my chocobo. Thank you. Thank you. There for changing your chocobo color. Maybe the eels were the friends that we met along the way. 
Oh my fucking god. <gasps> nice! Look at all that! Is this giveaway stuff? Besides this title barding that I'm definitely just gonna use? Because I just saw someone writing it and I want it. Everything else is giveaway stuff. Look at that. Look at all the cool shit we've, we've got. Hell yeah. That title barding is fucking sick. The chair is probably my favorite mount. I like it a lot as well. Was the emerald barding? Yeah, that was the emerald barding. Chair and bed are my favorite. They're pretty good, dude. I think that that's what really catches people off guard. A lot of people that come to this game from uh, World of Warcraft, there's nothing quite like it. And so it's pretty fucking, it's pretty funny when you come over and they're like, is that a fucking bed mount? You get people in chat. Like when I first started playing this game, I got a lot of people, they were like, what the fuck? Is that a bed mount? <laughs> Did you know you can slash read while mounted? Get the fuck. How goes the search adventure? Did you find anything? Found some stolen goods. My stock! Well, one chest worth of it anyway. There's still some missing, but this'll, this is a damned good start. You got the nose of a bloodhound. Yeah, well, I haven't do been doing master clues, so I know motherfucking bloodhound. You've got the nose of a bloodhound, lass. I'll be wanting to lend... I'll be wanting to lend of that sniffer of yours to track down the rest of my property. Yeah, how about not? How about I just take your shit and get the fuck out of here? Here we are, we can fly. Dun 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 dun. Wow. Now you can get the vista. True. Get out of the shot! <laughs> okay, let's go. Wait, I don't need to be on the ground. Nice. Spurgs, man. Wah. Spurgs, man. Shut the fuck up. Christian Bale wanted. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go. Elegant shit. Deactivated terminal. Estinian, what say you? I sense an ominous presence. Great. Heavy though our hearts may be, we must forge on in the name of those we have lost. Sid is right. We owe it to your sail to see the mission through. It's still active. All of it. Crikey, this place is like something out of my dreams. What do you want, Olive? Hello. Hello, dog. Would you like to come up here in my lap? Come. Come to me. What are you doing? Come to me. Come to me. Hey. Hey. Come to me. Hey. Come. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. Come here. We're playing games. Ugh. We're playing games. Said no, Dad. I don't want to be on camera. No, Dad. <laughs> Dad. No. Dad, you put me on camera. Wait, Dad. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, you're not getting hurt. Sure. <laughs> Fuck, you're in here for, isn't it? Is this what you want? That's what I thought. No, it's not for you. 
Yo, Ramtuff coming in, slanging a couple subs. I appreciate that, brother. Five gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you, man. Oh, Dad. Dad, you're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing me. The Isle Sentinels don't seem to frequent the area. We should be safe here. Judgment Sight, thanks for slinging five subs as well. Thank you. Let's talk strategy, shall we? Sid looks like a man with a plan. First of all, in the interest of efficiency, I suggest we make this place our base camp. We can coordinate the search for the Archbishop from here. I have no objections. Now that we stand upon Azizla, I'm struck by the vastness of the Isle. We must needs be methodical if we are to find our quarry. Good. Now, unless I'm mistaken, this used to be an airship landing. And a major one at that. From what I know of Allegan design, there should be a terminal nearby that's linked to the Isle's operational heart. If we can find such a terminal, we should be able to learn something of the Archbishop's whereabouts. Let's split up and look for it. Sounds like a good plan, Scoob. Like, split up, man. You know, we're in, like, a scary place. I think the best plan is, like, split up, man. Like, crazy. But, yeah. Like, whoa. 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 Zoinks. Whoa, Scoob. Whoa. I don't know what just sent me into that fit of fucking Scooby-Doo speak. I don't know. I like Jinkies, man. Like totally Jinkies, man. This place is an engineer's playground. If I had the time, I'd be going over it with a bleed magnifying glass. All right, Briggs. Biggs. Sid. This terminal has long since ceased to function. Search from another. Okay, I'll just go fuck myself. Surveying? They're all standing around right here. Like, what am I, what am I surveying? The, Empi the Empire borrowed most of its technology from Allegan Relics. If we can find the terminal, I reckon we can operate it. Good to know. I dare say this landing could accommodate even a Ragnarok-class vessel. Remarkable. Yeah, it's pretty big. Survey the people surveying, I know. This ominous presence. To whom does it belong? Probably the Asians. Machines are beyond my ken. I shall leave it to the others to find this terminal. Of more concern to me are the dragons that I sense nearby. Oh, great. just this terminal, then. But it doesn't respond to anything I do. Any bright ideas, Wedge? Wedge? He was here just a moment ago. Oh, don't tell me he's wandered off.
This zone just feels uh, climactic, you know? Yeah, it does. It's it's very intimidating. Ow! Wedge, are you all right? I I'm fine, Chief. I just tripped. That's all. Fool of a lullafell. What are you thinking? Coming here on your own. Death by overwork is one thing. Death by stupidity. Quite another. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chief. But I think I found something. Fool of a took. What is this? The back of a sentinel. Oh, and it's even a, it's even a fucking orb. Huh. Oh. This is no this is no wreck chief. She's still operational. See? That's no moon. Okay, scuffed R2D2. Performing diagnostics. To proceed, please agree to the terms and conditions of use. <laughs> do you do you agree? I suppose. Thank you. To register as a user, please state your name. I'm Wedge, and that there is Pyro. User registration complete. Welcome to Azis La. Master Wedge and Mistress Pyro. I am Guidance Node G. L. I. <laughs> G. Lee. Adios, turd nuggets. <laughs> oh, it's G51. Oh, it's a 51. It looked like it. Oh. The font made it look like a S and an I. <laughs> Adios, turd nuggets. Hmm. Or it was L I. Oh, it was L I, not S I. Oh, it was L I. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, it looks, sorry, not, not S, I'm just being, huh, okay, this isn't quite what I had in mind, but it might just serve. Wedge, bring the node this way, would you? There's something I'd like to try. Long day, yeah. The power of fonts. Node. I need a status report on the facility. Gilly, you have to do what the chief says. Roman numeral for 50 is L, yeah. Yes, that's it. Good girl. Ah, here we are. Hmm. Not much of a note. It appears someone recently reactivated Helix, which is this area. Reactivated, you say? By the... by the Archbishop, I'd wager. I dare say he woke up the place when he used the Manu's key. Probably. Are there any other people in the facility? If so, where? Really old VODs get auto-deleted and they're not recoverable. Let's see here. On the flagship. That's the central aisle. I'm seeing positive readings within the Ethero-Chemical Research Facility in the Fractal Continuum. And what have we here? Intruders detected in the Gamma Quadrant. Defense system engaged.
Oh, definitely Total Flamer. Yeah, I'm there. Thanks for the three months, man. Congrats on the, uh, on the three months sub badge. Our Imperial friends, I suspect. I hope they enjoy the system, the defense system. What of the Archbishop and his cronies? Hmm. What might offer an indication? Uh, how about this? Which area is currently consuming the most energy? Somewhere called Triad Control, inside the research facility. And what manner of place is that? It is, and I quote, a regulation facility for the Warring Triad test subjects. And that's all it says. The rest of the information is only accessible to users with consular privileges. For the Warring Triad. I mislike the sound of this, which leads me to believe that it is indeed the place. I'm inclined to agree with Yishtola. Whatever it is that, that, that the Archbishop seeks, it is like to be there. That settles it then. Let's find a way to cross over to the flagship. Oh, Total Lamer, thanks for the three... Oh, that's... Yeah, I already said that. Yeah, I did do coils. The Aeon's old guidance note is patiently awaiting instructions. Greetings, Mistress Pyro. Is there something you wish to know? Tell me about how to reach the flagship. Requesting access to the Ethereal Chemical Research Facility. Access granted. Generating route. Route generated. Commencing guidance to chosen destination. Please be aware that the designated route may take you through restricted sectors, and that the Isle's defense systems may attempt to terminate you. Be kindly reminded that, in accordance with the terms and conditions of use, you and your party assume all risk of damage or injury, including death, that may occur en route to your destination. Was Endwalker a blocked term? Endwalker has been a blocked term, you guys? Why? Are you fucking kidding me? Come on, mods. Thank you, Lumino. Don't put shit like that on there. It's the name of the fucking expansion. The fuck? I was going through to unlock Warring Triad. I could type Endwalker. Oh, maybe you couldn't with a uh, capital E. Can the guidance node be trusted? I know not, but we have few other options. Let us see where it leads us. Pyro, Yishtola, Estinian. We four shall proceed to the research facility. Sid, the Excelsior is our sole means of escape. Pray remain here and have her ready to depart at a moment's notice. End wanker. <laughs> You gotta stop blocking normal words that are later boss names. Yeah, I think I'd be okay with that too, man. Boss, like, look. Yeah, 
I'll, I'll, I'll also look through them later and make sure that there's... Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't look through it. Yeah, I know, I know. <sighs> Fuck. Understood. We'll see that she's prepared and ready to fly. If anything happens, just let me know via Link Pro. Hello. Yeah. Can you tell? Thanks, babe. Be on your guard, my friends. The enemy could be anywhere. Hey, you'll hide those chocobos, you animals! Oh, those are sick. Is that Endwalker pre-order? What is that? What's that barding? No? What is it? You don't want to know? Is it from Shadowbringers? The Shadowbringers trial? Yeah, I want that, dude. That looks fucking awesome. But the name of the barding is a spoiler? Mega spoiler? Okay. Oh, oh. Yeah. The name isn't really a story. Mega? Name is big spoilers? Okay. We'll just move on. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Whoa. Is that like a sh is that like a Shiva barding? Dude, some of the bardings are so sick. That's so cool. It absolutely is. You'd be able to make some deductions. That's what I'm always worried about. Like, people, look, people say, uh, I hate, I hate to say this, but people say shit like, by the way, we're, I, we're not finishing as this law tonight. I think that's, that should be made very clear. <laughs> um, uh, uh, yo, uh, Luxenac, thank you so much for the, uh, tier one sub. Appreciate that. Um, what I was gonna say is, sometimes people would assume that because there's no context that names can't be sp that you know like names and stuff won't be spoilers without context definitely not true um because the closer that i get to it i'll figure it out i will definitely f I'll f i mean i'll figure it out so that's I'm, I'm just not trying to it's better to be safe um You'll figure it out quicker. Right, you'll figure it out before you're supposed to. Which is what they call a spoiler. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um... You figure out shit enough before you're supposed to on your own. <laughs> yeah. Um. I think that I'm. I think I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired. Maybe not go right to bed, but you know what I mean. Damn, dude. We've been streaming for nine hours. Hey, before you guys leave, I'm streaming tomorrow. I'm streaming tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific time, so when I normally stream. I'm going to I think I'm going to start streaming on Saturdays. See, so yeah, I'm going to I'm going to We have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. We have a transmog competition to do tomorrow, don't let me forget. Dude, I can't believe we Dude, we ended the stream at 6,840 subs. That means we got like 1100 subs today.
Holy fucking shit. That's insane. Instant Lala at 7,500, man. Instant. And I'll play Lala all through Stormblood. 7,500 tomorrow then. Maybe. Honestly, it's pretty fucking, it's pretty possible. Stevie coming in with 10 more subs, dude. Just trying to knock him off when he can. Serial coming in with five. These guys were fucking waiting on deck, dude. One last one for the road. Thanks, dude. Thank you very much. Yeah, so you guys should follow. If you guys haven't followed my stream, it is absolutely completely free. There's a follow button down to the bottom right of where you're seeing my video. And it's a great way to, to make your way back to the stream in the future. It's a great way to know when we're streaming. Um, we have a really awesome, really special community here. And uh, we just, we love growing it. We love inviting new people in. The positivity has been amazing. Your guys' support has been insane. Uh, you guys should definitely consider joining the Discord. Um, the Discord, I ping everybody in the Discord when I go live. Uh, there's also a lot of people that discuss things in there. Um, our Discord's actually pretty active. We don't have like a little whack ass, like pseudo fucking shitty Discord. Like, our Discord's got 2,500 people in it. And there's people um, that talk about WoW lore. We have a channel for that. We have a 14 channel. We have a 14 lore and spoilers channel, which I can't go into yet. We have a Sprout Help channel, a Glamour Sharing channel, a Home Sharing channel. We have a special hidden channel for those that are subscribed here on YouTube. Or fucking fuck, I just said YouTube. Here on Twitch. And you get a special rank, and, and it's a nice way to kind of converse in a less uh, congested area. But our, our Discord's well moderated. We have a ticket system for reporting people who are acting in ways that they shouldn't. Like, we have a pretty sick Discord. So if you guys aren't in there already, I'd highly recommend going and checking that out. Again, there's a link to that in the chat there. Um, I do have a YouTube channel. I want to make more YouTube videos really bad, you guys, but I'm almost like a little intimidated by it. And I just kind of want to keep playing the game. I don't know. I'm. There's so much to try and recollect when I want to sit down and record something. Um, and there's so many different things that I want to talk about. It's kind of hard. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, is this a two person stream? Oh my God. This is a two, this is a two person. Maybe she stream. knows like, I don't know. Maybe she just knows her young or something. She has to know. She's finishing 2.0. Although she's really cute. Cause anytime Naldo Let's host gets these up from the bed. People. Yeah. Just keep playing the game. You have plenty of time to make vids. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, this has been sick. So let's actually raid these folks. I don't know them, but they seem pretty cool. And, and look, I'm not asking you to follow them. I'm not asking you to go over and sub or do anything crazy. If you guys just want to hop over into the raid, go over, show some love, spam a couple emotes, especially if you guys are subs, you know, just take advantage of those emotes, show a little love, just make someone's night. We're about to host someone that has 20 viewers, and we're about to drop 2,000 people on this stream. So if you guys want to be an awesome part of that, uh, part of that awesome thing, then uh, I highly recommend hitting the raid now, or the, hitting the raid, uh, join raid button up there and, and just showing a little bit of love. Um, I want to thank you guys again for an amazing stream today. Today is one of the longer streams that I've done in a while, nine hours, but I was happy to do so. I had a great time. Hanging out with you guys was great. Um, uh, and, and there's no, uh, no confusion. It, it, you, it definitely made it worth the time. Uh, you guys went absolutely insane on, on subs today. 1,100 um, minimum. So thanks so much for that, guys. Uh, I feel, I feel so supported and, and welcomed by the community, and I, I'm just, I feel extremely uh, fortunate that, that I have the opportunity and the community uh, here on, on Twitch, uh, and I'm really glad that you guys are all a part of that, so let's go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you very much. Stay awesome, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace! You wake right now? I forget who I was watching, but I was like, I think Britt just fell asleep. Or no, now it took a shower, and then when I got out, Britt was already in bed. So. Oh my god! Yeah, I like mustered enough strength to get to.